Hi guys, it's me, Kitty. <clears throat> oh, I forgot something. But we're here um, with Palia today because we got we got a new drop of, of content today. The Lunar Festival is finally here. I'm so excited. Just putting my indication I'm streaming on the door because I forgot to do that before <laughs> while we're having the little ad break at the beginning of the stream. Oh. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, Lunar Festival dropped today and I'm so excited. So we're having an impromptu stream today. Because <laughs> I'm like, you know what, I should just, whenever Palia does an update, just do a, do a midweek stream for it. Why not? That way we can, we can keep up with things and stuff and it's so exciting <coughs> um but yeah uh also probably has uh, said that they're going to be doing like just mainly one big drop every every week uh every month that's their their goal right now ah uh, that's interesting uh a lot of a lot of my things that i had in stuff working I have to cancel and put it back to work. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why that is. Because it should have been done like ages ago, unless it, uh. It was a bug from last time I played. <coughs> also, something I, I noticed while I was logging on, uh, and looking around, um, the smoke from the chimney. I'm like, okay, what? Was it always like that? Uh, did we have chimney smoke before? <laughs> I don't know. But it's very black. It makes me concerned. Um, but we should go 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 investigate. There's so many new things. There's like uh, also new window, new bay windows we can put on our house. There's new wallpapers. You can change the color of our roof now. Apparently, I'm excited for that. There's two new crops and then two new forageables. More recipes to get. Ah, uh, it's it's so exciting. Um, also, if we if we go into our inventory, our events thing is back for the Marty Market Lunar New Year. So we've got all of these new items that we can get. Look at them all. Uh, we've got our stamp cards like we did last Marty Market. So this this Marty Market, we've got lucky lucky envelopes. That's our currency this time instead of the the coins that we got from the Chopper Chase. Um, though I. I have read that those Chopper coins are still going to be available next time that particular market comes back. Like, though, whatever you had left over is still there, and that's really cool. Uh, but this time it's Lucky Envelopes because it's the Lunar Festival. Uh, we've got to visit the Lunar Festival, spend some some envelopes, play the Hop Hop mini game a few times, win the Hop Hop mini game. <laughs> um, I set off a firework arrow at the Margie Market. Oh, I didn't grab my firework arrows. Uh, we need a total of ten. Is that it? I should. Uh, I should go. Oh, we should go back home and grab those, and then look at the rest of the things. We need. We need to grab ten. Ten fireworks to take with us. <clears throat> do 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 do. I, I totally forgot, like, last time the Magi Market was here, we also had to do, uh, fireworks. Let me just go grab them. <clears throat> They're in here, let's... what do we have more than ten of? We have a lot of the purple crackling ones, so we'll take those. We'll fire all those off. This is why I save up fireworks from Zekis. <laughs> that way I don't have to buy or craft them myself. I haven't actually played Palia uh, off stream even uh, for quite some time because like I don't know what I want to do on Palia because <laughs> I, I was like mostly out with the new content except for you know the things on the side there which was to do with the air temple I have to still do those things um so that's something I need to do but um other than that like 
they're, 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 I've, I've been like done most things except like friendships and stuff so I was just like oh, I, I don't know what I want to do on Palia right now I'm gonna wait for the next content to drop I'm excited for it and now it's finally here Ooh, is that some of the new stuff Ooh, some of the new stuff wild green onions hello <coughs> oh and the ginger Ooh, those are the two new forageables we can find them all around Kilmer apparently so they're uh, Kilima uh, uh, forages. Oh, is that some more ginger? Yoink. We're gonna need those for the new recipes. I'm so excited. Oh, also star stones now have a star quality, which means they're placeable now. And I'm just like, yes, please. Oh my god. But yeah, look. The market is back. Oh, I like these little things. These are cute. Oh, I I want I want the, the the little thing to hang up next to my other one. <laughs> oh, I wonder if they've got a new skateboard like they did for the last market. Like that'd be cool. I have to check whether the skateboard's working properly again. <laughs> it's supposed to hang on the wall, but then occasionally it doesn't. Yay! Also, did we go through a big loading screen? Because that wasn't what happened last time. Ah, uh, we're here! Woo! Ah, uh, they've put, like, fancy things in some of the trees. Um, the anvil's still here. Awesome. Ah, uh, but you can't do it with gold anymore? No! They fixed it! Ah, <laughs> uh, no, you need repair kits for here. Oh, okay, before we investigate too f much further, we need to check what other quests Oh, well, other stamp cards and things we have. So we completed this one. <clears throat> so we got our we got our Lunar New Year poster, so I can put that on the wall somewhere. Um, yes, yeah, so we got a set of firework arrows. Catch a total of 20 choppers during Chopper Chase, because Chopper Chase is back. Uh, spin Zeki's prize wheel a few times. Earn lucky envelopes from Zeki's prize wheel. Uh, catch choppers. Uh, make a total num make a total number of wishes. Find all the treasure chests in the Margie Market. Ooh, there's treasure chests around. Complete the final new, uh, Lunar New Year quest. A year to remember. <clears throat> and there are quests. There's one for... And this one uh, for, um, Kenley. The Margie Market is here. Kenley has kindly requested you support for his new mural endeavor. Head southeast of Kilma to find the entrance to the fairgrounds. Kenyatta's Cravings. Margie Market Mayhem. And Winterlight's Wonder. <laughs> Uh, of course, the Margie Market is mostly finishing now, so there's not much we can do right now. Unfortunately, we can't access the shops, but we can, like, look around a little bit. Because, like, that's the, the sad bit of, uh, coming, coming, uh, starting stream just, just around midnight-ish. Ooh. So they changed this. To, to have the drums go in here. And that's cool. I'm gonna play all the drums. Play all of them. <laughs> oh, that one's going. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, that one. There didn't seem to be any uh, stamp cards for doing this this time, but I still wanna see if I can set it off. Uh, this one. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Oh, it's getting faster. <laughs> that one. Hit everyone that's glowing. Uh, this one. Oh, there we go. Woo! Ah, <clears throat> oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I love it every time. Off he goes. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's. It's great. So yeah, so it looks like we've got the firework 
things over here. I did see um, Najima over here. Uh, then this looks like the stand for some food from the from the farm family. Oh, this must be the the hot pot games. So we'll have to see if we can play those with some people at some point. Um, this is a rest stand, obviously, with all this food. <clears throat> some more hot pots down here. Uh, this is Zeki's wheel. Ooh, we've got something interesting over here. Oh, this is the the wish ribbons. Oh, and then we put them on the big tree. The only thing I want for, is for my son to have a blessed year. I hope life in the capital is treating him well. Ah. I wish to get closer to my son this year. Now that he's all grown up, he thinks he's too cool to spend time with his mum. Nahasian, if you're reading this, come home for dinner. I'll even make you your favourite. Aww. <laughs> Sifu. The uh, Adele, there is only one thing I could ever wish for, and it is to finally earn the right to stitch my name into my clothing and have it last forever. Aww. <clears throat> I like these. Hessian, I want nothing but peace and quiet in the valley. Of course. Hadari, I wish to be able to keep the mines running for another year. It'd be nice to live out here for a little longer. Aww. Najima, this year I really hope my dad finds a special someone. Maybe then he'll stop being such a grump all the time. She's like, God, Dad, just get a date. <laughs> oh, and of course, we've got our chopper area where the choppers will hang out. Oh, there's a little taiyaki in here. That's cute. <sighs> and then got some more like little food pops and things. Oh, I'm excited for uh, when this when this comes around. Uh, return with a dyed wish. So you have to like get the wish things and then uh, wish ribbons come here and then put them here. Noted. <clears throat> anyway, we wanted to set off uh, some fireworks. Does it have to be? Yep, it can be any time of the day. Awesome. Fire them off. Yeah. <laughs> and they should have finished off our stamp card. Let's check. <clears throat> oh, no. We have to... Ah. Uh, we have to set off two more. Two more. Okay. So when when we come back to the Margin Market later, uh, we will we'll make sure we grab some more arrows. I mean, I could set off I could set off those. Let's set off these. Oh no, it wasn't attached. Okay, there we go. Done. Ah, oh, they're so beautiful. See how they finishes that stamp card off. So I've done all of those. <clears throat> um, so yeah, so we have to do these other things which we'll have to do at night time. But we've got our, our cool little uh, poster to hang up on our, on our wall. We should go do that. But yeah, last Margie Market, they didn't, they didn't have it as a separate server. It was still a part of Kilima Village. But it looks like they've made it separate this time. Which is fair, because if they want a bunch of people down there, but then um, <clears throat> they don't want to like make it that everyone is like not hanging out in Kilima. It's it's a good idea. Keep it separate. Keep, uh, have a bunch of people down at the Margie Market doing their thing, separate from everyone here. Okay. <clears throat> And the new recipes we have to get at the market, so we can't do that yet. I do think I remember seeing that the new crops that we can get, we can get um, at Zeki's, maybe? So we have to go see Zeki anyway and buy something, because we haven't, we haven't got a Zeki coin. 
Oh, I've been playing I've been playing Power World so much lately. I'm just like I'm gonna have to stop sprinting soon and then I remembered we don't have stamina for sprint, we're fine. <laughs> we can sprint for days. Ah, and there was uh definitely some of the things at the city hall. There was some stuff you could do with renown again. Um <clears throat> Ah, here we go. We can get uh the new the new wallpapers and stuff, the roof things, and and outdoor stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get those. Only really some of them. We're gonna have to get some more renown for the rest. Ah, uh, but then there's also the new bay window. Oh, it looks so cool. I don't know where we'll put a bay window. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab one anyway. <laughs> We. Hi. Okay, let's have a look see. <clears throat> Any of the new crops here? Okay, so that's no. Uh, there was soy sauce, I think, was new. Is that here? No. Hmm. I'm sure that I, I I read that soy sauce would be available there. Maybe not yet. Maybe it's just at the market for now. <clears throat> uh no, going to Badru's, he doesn't he doesn't sell seeds, he just sells crops. Oh well, we'll get some of this stuff home. Oh we didn't buy anything from Zeki. We need to buy something from Zeki. <laughs> um I usually I usually like buy butter or cooking oil or something, so we'll grab that. Du -du -du. Oh, I should have gone back. Uh, I should have stayed at the market for longer because we still have to find some chests there. It's okay, we'll be back there later. <clears throat> We have a message in the mail too, so we should go check that. Du, 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 du. I wonder if we're gonna get a new gateway as well. Like, I would like a second gateway. Hey. Um, we'll hang it up over there. There we go, now we got we got two. Also, uh oh here we go. The the skateboard is back to its supposed to be way of doing things. Awesome. Anyway, um <clears throat> some of this stuff is like roof things, right? Or is this just a wallpaper wallpaper? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What about you? Ooh, leafies. Uh, number five is like really, really cool. It's 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 some paper walls. Okay. Um, what about this one? Ooh, kind of like that a little bit. <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's uh one I'd use. Wait, there's a shows two things there. oh oh because it oh you can replace down the bottom now too i was just like what's that mean down there wall and foundation by the looks of it oh foundation this one also foundation that one as well and that one Ooh. okay <clears throat> well other ones i currently have i really like this one for a foundation Let's go put that on now, things. Yum. We also have to put away our Christmas stuff, I guess. Our winter lights things. It is that time. Maybe I'll, I'll leave it just a little longer, though, because I really like it. I also don't know where we kind of plant our new crops. Oh, I didn't water these when I uh, 
did stuff earlier. Yeah, I don't know what to replace for our crops, so I'm gonna have to try and figure that out because we got some new crops. I guess I guess it depends what the new crops um ability is. We gotta figure that out. Oh no, wrong thing. X. Um, I wanna go to here to put those in so I can keep a track of those. Go back to this, put those away in there. <clears throat> um, and then I want to grab out our seeds. So we'll go to the seed maker because it's a little easier doing it there. And corn. Ah, oh, and cotton. <clears throat> okay. Because I, I do like the abilities that my farm currently has. Nyom. But I guess we'll we'll find out when we get them. <clears throat> then I'll I'll just plant them somewhere and see what they do. But for now, uh, we should just keep our garden in the order that it's in. Ah, uh, that one. <clears throat> oh, we gotta we gotta eat something. Focus check everyone. Uh here we go. Nom nom nom. Carrot oh no. <clears throat> uh carrot. Ah, beautiful. The singing sucked. <laughs> <clears throat> now to water everything. And then we gotta go to Sifu's and repair our tools since we can't do that at the Maji Market this time. <gasps> Sad. Oh, we do also have to find the chopper pile. I almost forgot. <clears throat> I won't have the Christmas stuff in anymore. I didn't end up getting every single one of the Christmas things from the chopper pile. But I'm not I'm not too bothered. We can get them next year. Well, at the end of this year I should say. <clears throat> Put all those away. Oh, I forgot we also now have our quest inventory. Uh, where are all those quest items that we had? <clears throat> Do we still have random quest items that we can put away in here? Or are, have they done a clean out of the, the quest items? Because there used to be in here, I think, a bunch of items that I had that I shouldn't have had that were quest items. It looks like they they've they've finally cleaned them out. That's cool. Let me just oh no here they are up, up the top here. Okay, let's get them in here. What's these random quest items? <clears throat> that way they're not clogging up room in my general storage. All my inventory, 
They're just sitting in my quest items. Ah, <clears throat> oh, it's so nice. It's so nice to finally be able to do that. Right, we had mail. We should check the mail. <clears throat> okay, Kinley. <clears throat> Greetings, Kitty. As mayor of Kilimer Village, it is my great honor to invite you to our second ever Margie Market. Due to everyone's warm reception of the first Margie Market, we're able to bring the event back to celebrate a very special occasion, the Dragon Moon Calendar's very own Lunar New Year. Let us join together for many evenings of festivities under the shimmering lunar moon as we welcome good fortune to our doorsteps. Location, Kilima Fairground, southeast of Kilima Village. Time, 6pm to 3am nightly. Until the end of the festivities. Hope to see you there. Please, please, please attend if you can. If the market doesn't do well, Ishi's going to take over all of the planning. I don't, ha I won't have any say in it anymore. Aw, oh, Kinley. <clears throat> Okay, Shane. Uh, hello, uh, Happy New Lunar New Year, Kitty. I'd like to invite you to participate in our Lunar New Year wish-making tradition. It is during this tradition that we inscribe our wishes for the coming year on a wish ribbon, which we will then tie a dye in the color corresponding to the type of wish we are making. Blue represents wishes relating to luck, pink for longevity, and orange for prosperity. <clears throat> Once we have dyed our ribbons, we will hang them on our beloved wish tree in hopes that they will come true. I just attached a blank wish ribbon to the letter just for you. Please join me at the Margie Market tonight to make your wish. Hope to see you there. Shane. Ah, cool. Thank you, Shane. And Zeki. Hey, pal. Word has it that some very interesting trinkets from around the world are turning up in treasure chests in Bahari Bay. It might have something to do with all the shipwrecks washing up in the area lately. Not in the mood to hunt treasure in the bay? Well, I heard the general store's got neat knickknacks you can't find anywhere else. <clears throat> Interesting, so there's not more chests that showed up in Bahari. Interesting. That smoke is, is, is just really weird to me. Like, all my s settings are on epic. Like, it's so funny. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> so we've got, we got a wish ribbon we can take. We have 500 lucky envelopes already. <clears throat> oh, I'm so excited for everything. Okay. <clears throat> We still have time before we have to go hang out and do and go back to the Margie Market. We'll try and get there as early as possible. <clears throat> like just before six. <clears throat> so we can participate in things. But in the meantime, <clears throat> I think it'd be cool to try and get the the star gems. The sad star stones. That would be really cool. So, uh, mining it is, I guess. <clears throat> I'm just gonna quickly write down somewhere where all of these stones, I can get all the stones. <clears throat> okay. And that way we know exactly what we're looking for and when we've got it. <clears throat> okay, here's a nice picture. But that, uh, yeah, here we go. So we've got quartz, which is from clay and copper. We've got garnet. <clears throat> which is from iron, onyx, which is from copper, citrine, which is from clay and stone, aquamarine, which is from iron, jasper, which is from stone, emerald, which is from copper, Sapphire, which is from iron, amethyst, which is from palium, and ruby, which is also from palium. <clears throat> okay, so that's all the stones, and we're going to work on getting a starred variant of all of them now. <clears throat> it's nice to finally be able to have them out on display instead of uh, just having them hidden away in my in my storage chest because I wanted to keep one of each for myself. 
<clears throat> first things first though, we have to repair our pickaxe because it is kind of low. Do, 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 do. Oh, I wonder if there's new accomplishments too. I haven't checked that. I'm assuming there's going to be more new accomplishments. There we go. <clears throat> so let's look at that. Uh, accomplishments. So here's our regular daily things. We're looking to see if there's anything new though down here somewhere. <clears throat> Those are completed. Yeah. Those are all normal. Because like there, since there's new recipes I would and new crops, I would think that there'd be new accomplishments, right? Unless I haven't added those yet. They... yeah, it doesn't look like they've added the new accomplishments yet. Or the new food and crops and stuff. Interesting. <clears throat> I keep scrolling through my stuff to find my tools, but it's like you, your tools are in your hand. Okay, I guess first things first is we're just gonna go around and harvest everything we see in Kilimer. All the copper, all the stone, all the clay. Anything we spot. <clears throat> Until we get a star quality of all the, all the stones. It'll be also good for for making money as well. We'll probably get like a lot of different uh, star stones that aren't star quality. Oh, we got an emerald. <clears throat> I think uh, that's a one for Hassian. I can take that to him to help improve our friendship as well. Make sure to grab those. yet <clears throat> I should I should work more on on the friendship stuff as well oh oh there's just so much so much along here actually okay that was a citrine but it was a regular citrine <clears throat> and we're gonna need uh, probably a lot of money if we have to spend our money for the um, for the food at the markets because as we did as we did last Margi market, I want to get every star quality of food so that we can have them on display. <gasps> and I was thinking earlier we're gonna probably have to uh, make another room on the back of our food hall uh, because I don't know if we'll be able to fit everything. Into our into our food hall. The thing, uh, like the food hall, is for things that I create mostly. There is like a couple of things there that request stuff or things like that, but mostly it's for things I've created. It's tickets, not money. Oh, for all the food. Okay, noted. Oh, that's gonna be annoying, but we'll do it. We will do it. So hey Pagan, how's it going? Have you enjoyed uh, the market so far? I do remember them uh, saying though that they were going to change everything to tickets because they felt like it made it, it was more better for everyone. Uh, for like the new players didn't feel pressured by the money and stuff. Tired lol, it's okay. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> we gotta play the hot pot game later at some point. That'd be cool. Okay. We just we're just gonna go look for star stones. That is our goal right now. 
Hey, <laughs> thanks for the hydrate. Let me just climb up here. And a jackpot. So let me mark that down for him. Hydrating. Hmm. But hey, Red, have you done much with the market yet? Have you interacted much with the update? I'm here, but not here. Too sleepy. <laughs> Everyone's so sleepy. Uh, I am also tired. But I'm just like I'm. I wanna. I wanna do this anyway. <laughs> done a little. Nice. We, we arrived just as it, it, it was ending, so we didn't get to like participate in too many things. I bongoed the drums, and I shot off my fireworks, and then, um, and then job done. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All oh, right, we uh, we also need to be looking for the chopper pile. I keep getting distracted. We want to find the chopper pile for today. Got too sleepy and logged off for a nap that I cannot have. Oh no, that sucks. Oh, I need to eat some more. <clears throat> Focus check, everyone. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Excuse me, bugs coming through. I'm gonna have so much more copper, like, oh my god. <gasps> I have to start selling copper soon, because, like, the amount of the amount of stuff I get from just having to mine for star stones is ridiculous. Excuse me, guys, coming through. <clears throat> Ooh. Got this. Okay, let's head up here and see if it's up this way. Okay, it's not up here. We'll grab this. And we'll head this way. <laughs> Gonna lurk and listen to music now. Have fun. Okay, we will. I hope you have fun too. Nice and rest. Oh, grab this. <coughs> Come up here. Grab this. I'm not seeing the pile here either, so it must be in the fields. Always like the last place you check, right? We go. Okay, and then we just run along here. Oh, there's some more stone to grab. Oh, here it is. Okay, let's fire that off. Grab it. And, ooh, a firewood holder recipe. Yay, we got something new today. That's awesome. Oh, well, back to, back to our mining. Whoop. Saw you. Okay, it's almost 4 p.m. Um, I should probably head back to the house and drop some things off, and then we can head to the market. Just gonna harvest a few more things. 
We'll hit. It will. It will hit back. Uh, when it's when it's about four thirty, I think. Okay. It's going to take like a really long time, I think, to complete our collection of sad star stones. The star stones in themselves, I think their rarity was already uh, increased, so like it's harder to find them already. And then they're like, and star and star variants on top of that. And it's like, okay, <laughs> let's go. <clears throat> oh, it's four thirty. We should head back to the house. Let's do that. Drop off our things and then head off to the market. We. So I'm just gonna eat a little bit as we go. <clears throat> Here we go. Da 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 you go where did you go in here uh oh <laughs> why are all the garnets in there oh i have a lot of these in here apparently when i didn't mean to i thought i accidentally put a quartz in here where'd that go oh no the quartz is here must have been oh yeah it was a citrine um i like to store them in here so I don't know why I had some in there. Um, also, I should probably sell some of you. Oh my god, I have so many garnets. And there we go. We'll sell those. For some extra money. Okay, uh, let's uh, head off to the market. <laughs> See what kind of things we want to do. We gotta, we gotta make sure we get get seeds, new seeds. Get the new recipes is also important. We'll see what what what's around and and make a priority list. Oh, it's six p.m.
Oh, there's some more green onion. Oh, there's some ginger. Ginger is really easy to spot, even when the, the brightness isn't coming out yet. So the the little pink pinkness to it. <laughs> Grab that. The ginger and the wild green onion seems to be more so on this right hand side of the map than the left hand side, because I don't think we saw any of it when we're uh, we're down the left hand side. So it must have been just near the market area. But it is important to note that uh, the the uh, the uh, the ginger and the the green onion are going to stay. They're not just a temporary thing because they're not going to make it that uh, <laughs> that you you get recipes that use them and then take the ingredients away so you can't craft the recipes when the event isn't happening. That would be ridiculous. Me. It's time! Wah! Aina's here this time! Aina! Five two seven has been looking forward to your visit. Oh, Aina's is in, uh, the oneness is in all, just as all are of the oneness. <laughs> I've been closely observing the hot pot. Well, I do not fully understand it. Seeing everyone enjoy the hot pot fills me with much oneness. <laughs> I wonder what it is that makes this pot hot, while others are not. <laughs> and flirt. As I was contemplating engaging in the act of fishing, we can always fish together. I would very much enjoy that. I will make room for you by my side. <laughs> I shall experience a <laughs> He's so cute. Uh, anyway, hi Najima, what's up? Isn't this working? Sorry, I was talking to myself again. Orni keeps bragging to me that he found a secret hiding spot around here. Apparently it's a good place to settle fireworks and people watch. That could be anywhere, though. If you follow him around for a bit, you'll probably end up finding it. Oh, Zorni got a little spot that we can find. Interesting. Hey, Hidari. Hey. Happy Lunar New Year. It's our second time running a booth at the Maji Market. First one must have done pretty well if they've upgraded it this much. Can't say I hate the changes. Say hot into Juma before you go. Cool. Uh, what have you got for sale? Ooh, the floating lantern firework. And we've got all these fireworks. Some lanterns as well. Hanging lanterns don't offer much light, but uh, add a touch of elegance to any space. So these two seem to be decoration items, I would assume. Because, yeah, because these are equipment and these are customization. Okay, so that's a couple of things we need to make sure we get. Oh, hey, Kenley. Nice of you to stop by. Happy Lunar New Year, Kitty, and welcome to the Margi Market. Would you like to tell? Uh, would you like me to tell you uh, about uh, what this momentous occasion is all about? Yes, please. Uh, I forgot what I'm supposed to say next. Please excuse me while I review my notes. I went through many revisions before Ishi finally approved them. Ah, uh, yes. <clears throat> the Margi Market is a gathering place for joy and wonder for all. There you will find specialty food to delight your taste buds along with many sights and activities you can only find here in Kilima Valley. Oh, how rude of me, this is for you. An envelope? Not just any ordinary envelope. It is known by many names, but it is most commonly referred to as a lucky envelope. Look inside, you'll understand why it is called that. Oh, I know, why don't you ask Shane all that... Uh, all that all about lucky envelopes i'm sure he will have valuable insight to share with you now if you'll excuse me i'd like to go for another round of hot pot this time with spicy soup base hopefully my tongue will hand can handle it <laughs> oh kidly okay what have you got here guys okay we've got food that we need to get this is a customization item. ah uh, napa cabbage and bok choy Um, I might grab four of each. I still don't know how I'm going to plant them in my stuff, but we will grab them. Okay, and then we've got lots of food to get from you guys. Oh, this is a month-long event, though, so we got, we'll be working on it slowly, but surely. 
Okay, uh, restore. Let me just pop over here. We've got all kinds of foods here. There's some takeout. We can get soy sauce, green onion, and ginger from here. Here are the recipes. Oh my god, this is going to be top priority, is getting recipes first. I want all of the recipes. Um, okay, cool, cool. It sure is here as well. We've got more hot pot stuff happening over here. There's Tish and Zeki. Hi, Zeki. On me, pal. Okay, do we just do we just go up to the wheel? Requires an item prize wheel coin. Oh, do we get it from here? Oh, we got it's Hayaki from Zeki's thing. Uh, Amaji market basket. Ooh, new wallpapers. Ooh, I like those. So you don't get the coin from there. I wonder where you get his coins from. Hey, hey, Aina. Are you over here now? Uh, the mug. Oh, the makeshift garden chopper is back. So this is stuff you can buy with actual money. Uh, I don't have the Maji Market No Hunt sign, so I'm going to purchase that. Uh, but the other things I do have. Cool. Uh, and then this is the stuff okay cool the the chopper heart pillows are back and then we've got some new year things here as well oh look at all this new year furniture uh and the chopper heart mini Ma Margie plushes here as well cool for the people that missed out on it last time okay hey shane here to help with whatever ails you ah phoenix's child happy new uh, happy lunar new year happy lunar new year shane Thank you. Please take this lucky envelope. I was saving it just for you. Except the lucky envelope. Has anybody explained what lucky envelopes are to you yet? If you have a minute, I would like to do the honours. Well, don't let me stop here. I was hoping you would. Story time. I guess I can spare a minute. Uh, well, don't let me stop here. The origin of lucky envelopes can be traced well over millennia into the past. Our ancestors gazed upon the heavens and witnessed the dragon moon Luna, shimmering brightly like it never had before. Many interpreted that to be a sign of new beginnings. The annual spectacle soon became a celebration for people from all walks of life. Margeria or not, communities gathered together to enjoy many evenings of joy and festivities under Luna's brilliant shimmer. These celebrations become what is no uh, what now known as the Margie Market. As at the end of the first Margie Market approached, its guests returned home with full bellies and warm hearts. They dreamt deeply that night, vividly reliving the moonlit festivities. When they awoke from their slumber, they found coins under their pillows, each that shimmered just as brightly as Luna. Were they gifts from the dragon? Their dreams predicted the future. That sounds too good to be true. If you think about it, coins look like little moons. Were they gifts from the dragon? One can certainly interpret the evening, uh, the events that way, though there are many alter uh, alternate explanations as well. Rather than keep all the coins themselves, many decide to gift them to others in packets, often ones with intricate designs and colours on them. This birthed the tradition of exchanging lucky envelopes. The contents and meaning of the envelope differs based on what the occasion is, but at its essence the act means you wish someone well. I hope lots of people wish me well then. What a thoughtful tradition. What a thoughtful tradition. I can imagine you will receive many lucky envelopes throughout the Lunar New Year celebration. Speaking of wishes, how could I ever forget to mention our lovely wish tree? I'm sure it was one of the first spectacles you observed upon entering the market. Ah, oh, actually it wasn't. <laughs> I was too busy with other things, but thank you. Ah, uh, yeah. As a village sage, it, 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 it's my honour and duty to serve as the tree's caretaker as well as the overseer of the rituals surrounding it. Rituals? See those colourful papers hanging from the tree? These are called wish ribbons. Inscribed on them are the wishes of your fellow villagers. It is my duty to ensure the process of wish making goes smoothly along with enlightening curious minds about the history surrounding the tradition. All of your fellow villagers have already made their wishes. Um, all but one. It's you, isn't it? Who would that be? The goodest boy Tao? It's definitely Ishi. <laughs> uh, who would that be? I had a feeling you were going to be curious. It's Seki. He has participated in all of the activities except for the wish tree. I've seen him glancing over at it from time to time, but he has yet to take part in it. Perhaps because he has been so busy managing his own booth. Could you do me a favour and invite him to participate? Thank you. Make sure, sure you Shane. Zeki! Wish tree! Spend now! Go! <laughs> but you haven't made a wish yet. Oh, uh, what? On what? The candles on my birthday fish? It ain't even my birthday yet, pal. Check back in a couple of sun cycles. 
I was talking about the wish tree. You're like the hundredth human to poke me about it today. You guys must be in cahoots or something. Is it little bug zicky day or what? <laughs> Actually, it's National Hairball Awareness Day. Can you be serious for one second? Shane sent me. When isn't it little bug zicky day? Shane sent me. Did he now? Is this about the other night at the inn? We both got to the entrance at the same time and had a you first battle. He lost and had to walk in before me. <laughs> All right, fine, you caught me. I didn't hang a one colorful wish paper on the tree like everybody else did. I'll tell you why, but you gotta do something for me first. Like, make my booth look more exciting so more people give me their money. <laughs> why don't you spin my uh, prize wheel? Give it a whirl and see how lucky you get. Don't forget to cheer real loud at, at the end. No matter what you end up with. Got it? Oh, okay. For some good deal. Can you give me a thing to spin? Woo! Yay! Yay! I got a lucky coin! What happened? <laughs> Did you end up winning what you wanted? If not, you can always spin it again for the right price, of course. We had a deal. What deal? I'm just pulling your leg, pal. I remember promising I'd tell you why I didn't hang a wish up on that tree. The answer's simple, really. Just don't believe in making wishes. You see, we Grimal can prefer to make things happen ourselves, through our own means. We don't seek help or guidance from anyone else. But Seki, wishes, wishes are about letting the universe know what you want, and then you work on getting it. You don't just let the universe do the thing. You gotta work on it too. <laughs> I mean, we could pray to the Chimera, Dunya, for things, but she'd tell us to get off our lazy butts and figure it out ourselves. Haha! <laughs> the confirmation that the Chimera is the uh, is theirs cool because because we haven't had official confirmation until now like it's been like vague stuff but i don't think he's actually said that they're their gods the chimera and it's yes oh nice okay uh who's danya danya business get it danya business uh, i crack myself up sometimes danya's kind of like our dragon she's a lot more like the tough love type though kind of like my ma Ah, uh, well, that's all I got for you, buddy. Tell old Shane I said hi. I I can see him looking over here. <laughs> Say hi to Eshe for me. Ah, <laughs> oh, Shane, hi. To see you again. Dragon is everywhere you look. If you don't see him, don't stop looking. <laughs> I see. I was wondering why he was participating in everything but the wish tree. Now I understand why. I feel like there's more to the story. Zeki got those sad kitten eyes for a second. <laughs> He seems a little too cheerful. He's definitely hiding something. Um, I feel like there's more to the story. Is that so? Hmm. What should we do? Nothing. It is not our place to question Zeki if he wishes to open up to us. He will of his own volition. In the meantime, please enjoy the Magi Mark and the Lunar New Year's festivities to the fullest. Oh, and please take this for your troubles. Thank you, Phoenix's child. I will reach out to you when the time comes. I truly treasure Thank you. Nice. Okay. Woo! I wonder if uh, people are doing hot pot things. Ooh. It's in progress. Oh, I, I let's 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 join the seating. I I've, I haven't played before, but let's let's see what it's like. What do I do? Okay, bad the red is going first. I don't know the rules. It hasn't told me the rules. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Win a hot pot by making three sets of three tiles by either drawing or claiming discarded tiles. Uh, three unique foods and a category make a set. Um, okay. Uh, draw. Um, what do I want to discard? Uh, I think I'll discard that one. Okay, I think I kind of get it. Um, so basically, we can take these, or we can thing these. So we're looking for a yellow or a or a white one at the moment. That would be really cool to have. Oh, I want that one. Um, and then I want to discard that one. Do they have to be the the same type? Um. Okay, three unique foods in a category make a set, but three identical foods make a better set. Okay, okay. Understood. Okay, I kind of get it. 
Um, hmm. I think I'll draw a new one. Uh, let's put that one out. I, I kind of get it. We'll, we'll, we'll do our best. So that that potato wasn't actually useful to us. Like if we get if we get another corn, that would be really good. Oh, that one's not quite what we're looking for. Let's draw a new one. Uh, we'll discard that one. So garlic, corn, or a, one of those that we don't have would be great. No. No, let's draw a new one. Oh, cool. Uh, let's discard that one. Those, those are that's a that's a pair, right? That's a that's a three. How do I, how do I say that that's a thing? Everyone gets points for all match sets at the table. When it gets bonuses, okay. Um, let's draw from here, and then discard that one. Okay. So we're looking for garlic or another yellow, which is either a corn or something that isn't a potato. Oh, nice. Uh, discard that one. And what did they say was the best ones? Ones that all match? Three unique makes it a three identical foods make a better set. Okay. Um, we'll draw a new one. Discard that one. So if we can find a corn, that would be very useful. I wonder how long it goes for. Interesting. Um, draw that. Put that out. So I'm guessing we just play it all the way out and then see what happens at the end. That's my assumption of how this works. Oh, uh, oh! <laughs> uh, three of a kind category matches. Nice. Um, did, did I, did I win? Uh, I, oh, I won! I won! Okay, cool! <laughs> Hey, we won. Oh, the chopper chase is going on. Hi, let's let's go try and get a chopper for the chopper chase. Gotcha. <laughs> let's participate in this before it finishes. <laughs> Oh, there's some guys up here. Got them. <laughs> oh, that's a guy. Oh. Oh, nice. <laughs> I just I just I just participated by doing two. Uh and we got we got a bunch. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um well the hot pot game was pretty fun. I really enjoyed that. Oh, there's a couple of people over here. I wonder if they need someone. It's in progress. Uh and these guys are also in progress. I wonder if this person these guys are waiting for anyone? It's in progress as well. Okay. 
But that was that was pretty cool. Um, we need to try and do we have enough stuff to buy any recipes? <gasps> we do. I'm gonna buy steamed fish, uh, and the pan fried dumplings. <gasps> oh, and we got a prize wheel coin. Interesting. So we can get them from purchasing stuff. Yay! I'm excited. <laughs> And got some gold. <laughs> ah, we should also uh, die our wish. Um, we wanna we wanna die our wish for prosperity. Um, and then we wanna deposit it in. <gasps> oh, this is so cool! Ah. <laughs> Oh, I saw the jackpots. Hey! <laughs> How's it going? Have you have you have you played any of the the the, the new update yet? <laughs> it's it's been pretty cool so far. I'm 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 liking it. <laughs> Alright, I didn't actually check what's over here as well. Oh no I did. That's right. There's a there's not a skateboard on there, but I don't think we can get that one. Oh, there's so many, so many things yet, but we're getting, we're getting the recipes first. Not yet, but looks great. Oh yeah. And it's like these little hot pot game things. That one's in progress. I would love to join in one, but I think they're all, uh, they're all in progress now. Yeah. Maybe if I, um... Yeah. But, but the hot pot game is pretty cool. Uh, it's like, it, it's, a, it's a mahjong game from what I've heard. Uh, and you just gotta try and get some matches within things. Ooh. Apparently there's a, there's a seat field in this one. I would like to hang out and play another hot pot game. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed, I enjoyed this. Uh, you have to win like a certain amount of hot pots as well for, for the stamp cards. Okay, so auto starts when someone begins it, which is cool, and then people can just join in. Oh, it's so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and there's there's so much more uh, so, so much new stuff. Like there's new crops, there's new recipes, there's new foragables. Um, you can get a bay window for your house now from the town hall. It's, it's exciting. And star stones now have a, a st uh, starred variety so that you can place them. And that's like our, go our goal currently to do when the when the Maji market is down for the day and then we have to wait for night time. <laughs> yeah, it's just going to be the two of us. Four, three, two, one, boop. <laughs> Can't wait to get on and play. Nice, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ooh, uh, get rid of you. Okay, so ooh, we kind of want that, but that's gonna change probably. So that's one pair that we've uh, one one set we have there. Um. Um, where are the year? We could find a a napa cabbage. That would be great. Okay. No, we don't want that. Napa cabbage or those. We also have like four of those. We need to get rid of one of those. Okay. Um, draw a year. Get rid of a year. And like, from what I can gather, the way you want to do this is, um, you gotta play until the end. Oh, we want that. Uh, then we can get rid of... And get rid of that. <clears throat> um, so, so you want, you want trios of things. And if you have all identical ones, 
it's better, but you can also have uh, three different types of the the same color stuff. Draw that. Get rid of that. So I'm looking for the cubes or those noodles. Which, to be honest, I I, I should have uh, should have made sure that that was all different just in case. Okay, draw that one, discard that one. Oh, that one. We want that. Uh, and get rid of you. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're basically we're basically done. We have we have a good set here. Time to eat. Nice. Hey, yeah, we won again. <laughs> oh, they had like four, four of those, <laughs> but I ended up having three of those because I had, I, I, I got, I got, I got three pairs. Ah, I love it. And looks like the festival is over. <laughs> ah, I like that. Okay, um, let's let's look at our, our events tab. Okay, so we still got to spend more lucky envelopes, which will come in time. We've played Hot Pot two times, and we've won a couple of times, so we got this Hot Pot takeout bundle. And this one will be the next one we get. Um, we completed those, which was firing off a bunch of uh, fireworks at the festival. Total of 20, I believe. Um, catch a total of 20 choppers during the chase, which we will do in time. Spin Zeki's wheel a few times, which we'll also do in time. Earn 2,000 coins from Zeki's prize wheel. Uh, uh oh, 2,000 lucky envelopes, which we haven't done yet. We haven't got a single one from it. Catch more choppers, make more wishes. I'm not sure where we get more wish stuff. I wonder if Shane gets, sends us a new one every day or something. That'd be interesting. Uh, there's treasure chests, six treasure chests around here somewhere, which we should try and look for. And we've got to do that. Um, we've got to do more of these quests as well. Um, but yeah, apparently there's chests somewhere. And I'm just like, I wonder where they are. <laughs> I haven't seen a single one yet. Hmm, they're probably on the other side. Let's go look on the other side. Ah, da, da, da. Any chests up here? Looking for some chests. They only active during the actual Margie market as well, is another question. I wouldn't- I wouldn't think so. I think they'd just be around and about, right? There's some hay bales. If I was hiding a chest, I would put it all the way up here. Let's be honest. <laughs> okay, well I'm not seeing... any chests anywhere. Interesting. I wonder where they're hidden then. some boxes. This person's doing some fishing in the lake. Ah, it's so exciting. Oh, well, uh, we'll take the stuff that we've got home. And I want to check out those two new recipes we got from Wrath today. See what they're, they, they contain. Also got some mail that we have to check.
Do, 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 do. Dum, 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 dum. And it's nice that we don't actually have to, like, hang out in front of Ina's cave waiting for him to come out to, to flirt with him every day because he's at the market now. So I can flirt with him at the market every night. We can just carry on our business. Excuse me, coming through. <sighs> Thirty paleons ahead of me. Okay. I'll just uh I'll just drink my water while I wait. Just wanna go to my housing plot. Dun dun bum bum. Oh, we're almost there. Into the house. Woo! Okay, let's let's put something. We have to figure out how we're gonna do. Oh, oh, thanks, buddy. With me a spicy pepper seed. That's so nice of you. Okay, let's put that away. Uh, okay, put those away in there as well. I want to put this sign out like that. That's cute. I'm assuming you can't place the ginger down. Yep, didn't think so. Put the ginger and the wild green onions away, which for, for people who don't know, the ginger and the wild green onions are new forageables you can find at Kilima. Um, they're gonna be there permanently, and it's, it's pretty cool. And we got two new crops, Napa cabbage and bok choy, that you can get from the, the market, and will eventually be sold elsewhere as well. <sighs> I mean, hmm... I... Oh! I need to see what kind of thing they give off. That's the question. I am going to... So that has water retaining growth boost on it. If I put you here... It does weed prevention. Interesting. Okay. What else does weed prevention? I don't... I don't remember what does weed prevention. Oh wait. How far out does that weed prevention go? Or do I have a bunch of things that have weed prevention on them? Because all these are also weed prevented. So I'm just like, wait. <laughs> what over here is weed prevention? I don't know. Okay, um. Harvest year. And we're going to do the same tests over here. So that has water retain and quality boost. If, if we put down you it still has the same so it does either water retain or quality boost interesting i'm going to have to figure out where i'm going to put them so we're not quite sure what that one does hmm hmm 
interesting. Because I need to figure out where I need to put them in my garden to keep things mostly consistent. So we'll put those seeds away for now and we'll work it out. Okay, um, let's grab our stuff out. And then also, like, it, it used to be, oh, if I just do this, like, all of the crops that I harvest regularly all fit along here. But now I have two extra, so, oh my god. <laughs> Potato. Potato goes here. Potato goes here. Potato. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look up the the crop calculator thing that people use and uh and see what I can I can do with the new stuff. I'm sure they've they've already put the new crops in there hopefully. Oh well I'll probably uh work it out off stream. We'll leave uh them where they currently are for now. And then I'll work out a better farm layout. I don't want to change my farm layout out too much because I do like the way it is at the moment but we do need to figure something out so we can have everything planted. I really hope they give us extra crop plots at some point because otherwise <laughs> it's going to be difficult to keep everything planted. Okay, cotton... Now I just gotta water everything. Let's fill up our water first. <gasps> Let's go! So, what are that one? What are these two? Everything watered? Everything's watered. Nice. Okay. Oh. I want to go check out those two new recipes. I wonder what you cook them on. I'm just going to put that off in the corner right now so it's not in our way. Okay, so we got two new recipes. Pan fried dumplings was one of them. Okay, we can make pan fried dumplings and hopefully get a starred variety. Let's see what that's like. Okay, so we've got to got chop an onion. Okay, uh, some sunic meat. Cool. Some dough. And some ginger. Ooh, I don't like the way the ginger looks on the on the chopping table. Nice. And then we also have to come here and mix our dumplings together. And then add the ingredient and flip. 
Yay, we're gonna sad Virian. Uh, we still need a... Ooh, I need to pull out a table. Oh, we're definitely gonna need a bigger area. Oh my god. Uh, let's go see what kind of table we can pull out. Um... Oh, let's go with this one. Um... I'm going to put it in the middle here for now, but we're definitely going to have to make a, a second room a part of this so that we can have all of our food in here because it's going to get tight. I'm going to have to rearrange things. Okay, so we've got that one. Um, and then there was one other... something about steamed fish. Here we go. Use quality ingredients. Okay, and it specifically uses bream? Is that a thing? I think it does. Okay. Luckily, we have a bream. Okay, so we need the chopped green onion. Oh my god, that's fast. Oh my god, that's fast. Okay. Oh, I cannot chop that fast. I'm just gonna have to chop when I know I can. Oh my god. Because animation doesn't let you chop that fast as, as it's ticking. Okay. It's just the two ingredients. And flip. Oh, I missed. And flip. Hydrate. Thanks for the hydrate logo. Okay, we got the same fish. Okay, there we go. Two two of the new recipes. <laughs> Rude. Animation should calm down. Oh <laughs> uh, no, that's the thing. The animation shouldn't calm down. It should speed up. It needs to it needs to get hyper. <laughs> oh, um, then we'll also put these away. We'll go check our letter. <laughs> Uh, greetings, Kitty. I hope you're enjoying the Lunar New Year festivities to the fullest. There is something I could use your help with. Could you meet me at the Magi Market as soon as convenience? Thank you kindly, and I hope to see you soon. Shane. I, I think that's the one we already did, but okay, thanks. Zeki is giving us our coin. Awesome. Thank you. Let's go Let's go spend our coins and try and find more of those starred star stones. Because we have starred star stones now, Logo. We have placeable star stones. <laughs> if you can find them. <laughs> but that's our new goal, is to get all the starred star stones. We can do that when the Magi Market isn't uh, doing things. We. You can find them. Yeah, it's just going to take a while. It's not going to be a, we're going to do it all in one day kind of thing. It's going to be a, we'll get there eventually. Now even you catch them all. Exactly. Okay, let's open both our Zeki coins. <laughs> no stats don't for either though, I know. Okay. Oh, that's the Valley Sunrise Chandelier. That's one we already have. And some spice sprouts. Thanks, Zeki. Appreci. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, and we'll do what we did last time and we'll head back uh, to our place about 4.30ish. Uh, drop off our stuff and then uh, head to the Margin Market straight after. And then we should arrive in time to be able to like participate in some hot pot and the chopper chase and all that kind of good stuff. In the meantime, we're just running around uh, looking for stones to smash. Uh, also, for people who don't know, uh, Subera is now romanceable. <laughs> it's a forbidden love. <laughs> okay. That, that's that's what they've called it, and I'm just like, oh, that's cool for, for everyone who wanted to romance her. <laughs> um, looking 
for some If I go down the right hand oh there's a flow tree over there. If I go down the right hand side I might be able to find more of the forageables, the new forageables. This is one of the big trees, I believe. I'm just gonna uh do that and see if anyone comes by. I'm... Oh, there's two flow trees. Um, and what's what's this part of the map called? Uh it's reflection fields, really. Um uh flow trees we selection fields. I'll just put that down and uh see if see if anyone comes for them. It 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 can be difficult because uh the, the the Asia Pacific server is filled with uh, filled with people that don't speak English, so I don't know if people will understand, but I have attempted. Oh, someone's on their way. Awesome. Oh, I see I see someone over there. I don't know if that's the person for that's coming this way. No, they're going off to the side there. I mean, I don't, know, I don't know what to say, buddy. Like, <laughs> you said you're on your way, but I need a. I'll put another one out, but uh, still here. Uh, flaring. <laughs> like uh, they like are they gone? No, no, they they're still here. I I'm, I'm I'm I got it's like two trees. I think this is is this the person? Uh oh, they they're walking away. Maybe not. <laughs> I will I'll turn another flare down because they did they did uh comment again about it, but like hello <laughs> Like I know reflection fields is like a little over that way, but you can you can see it from here. Cause this bit here is the remembrance field, so I don't know why the writing is off to the left a little bit. Oh. Oh. I said reflection fields. Oh. <laughs> I said reflection instead of remembrance. Remembrance. <laughs> uh <laughs> 
Uh, that, that, oh no, no, oh, no, it is, no, it is reflection fields. Uh, no, I'm, it is, it is, I'm, uh, hello, person? Oh, I don't know, this, this person's here, like, like, no, it's is reflection fields. Like this is reflection fields. It's right there, but like, <laughs> um, I have to edit this so I can add that in. Where is it there? There we go. Hey. Ah, oh, there you are. Yeah, this one. Like, and then over this way. Okay. Either way, we. I, I'm pretty sure I said the right thing, and they just were going to the wrong place. <laughs> oh well, we got them here eventually. Like that's the important bit. <laughs> Does anyone else want the, the clay too? Cool. Okay. Cool, thanks person. We'll just have us some stuff together for a bit. <laughs> Mining nodes together completed. I'm gonna grab your. I don't know. Somehow, somehow we got managed to get them there eventually. Yeah, because I, I said reflection fields, which is, you know, this this area is reflection fields. And you should have seen the glare from where the words say. I don't know. I don't know. Come on, brain. Let's let's think of other things now. <laughs> da, 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 da. Like, I'm trying to get star stones. Anyway, we're heading over the side because that's where I think just the new cro uh, the new forageables appear. I don't I don't know if they appear anywhere else in in Kilimux. I haven't seen them down that left hand side. Do, 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 do. It's always uh, good to stop by and get these. Uh, those flowers as well, because we need them for flares. Thank you. <laughs> People throw showing off their fireworks. Okay. Looking for rocks to harvest and things to forage. Oh, that's something to forage over there. There's a clay. Come on, Sastone. Yeah, I'm still not sure whether they've given Subera a star stone yet either. They have made a romanceable, but I don't know if they've done the, the star stone for him. Oh. 
Okay, so it's still in this area here. I've got some ginger. Oh, here's some more green onion. Oh, is that some more ginger over here too? No, it's a mushroom. Grab the mushroom. Mushrooms are also important. Oh, there's something to to harvest with our pickaxe. Yum. Okay, almost time to head back home, drop everything off, and then head to the market again. And I'll probably be doing like more stuff uh, for Palia off stream as well. But I just, I, I wanted to make sure that I at least did like uh, the first little bits on stream so that we had like a record of them and everyone else could enjoy them instead of me like doing it all off stream you guys not knowing anything <laughs> just like it's it's good if i if i make sure that i do this which is why the impromptu uh stream today on a day we don't usually stream but it'll definitely be something we do um or at least try to do whenever an update comes out for palia because they, they like to update today, which is a few days before my actual stream time, and I, I can't usually wait until my stream time before I want to play the new update, so. And today I don't have too much going on, it's mostly a look after myself day. And, uh, and play some relaxing games with friends kind of thing. Alright, we gotta head home and drop this stuff off. Hydrate, thanks for the hydrate. Nom nom nom. Okay. Oh, I'm, I can't stop myself from harvesting things as we go because I'm still trying to get the star stones. I need them. Did we even get a- oh, we did get one star stone while we were harvesting all that. Just one. Not a starred one, but it was one. Okay, let's drop these things off. And head back for some more, uh, some more fun at the Margie Market. <laughs> hey. Hey, sis. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Jack pets. <laughs> okay. Let me just write that down. Even though I'm sure you're just giving him the pets yourself, I will still put it down. <laughs> uh, I also put uh, that in when I wasn't supposed to. That goes into that section. But we already have 10, so I'm going to sell it for some extra cash. Okay, cool. Okay, that stuff's all dropped off. Now we gotta head back to the market. Do 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 Okay, let's go eat some food on our way. Going down for some hot pot and some chocolate chases. Gotta earn some tickets for our recipes. Oh, uh, 
I've got some more forageables to collect on our way. More ginger. Some green onion. Ooh, more green onion. It's interesting that they seem to just have replaced uh, all the mushrooms that used to spawn around here. I'm sure like the mushrooms still have a chance to spawn, it's just uh, the ginger and the green onion have a heavier rate now. Which is great, because you can find like a lot of mushrooms all over the place, so it's nice to have uh, new things being put there. In we go! Whee! Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Ah, uh, someone's wearing their nice gown. <laughs> Yay! And we're back. Hi, everyone. Shane wants to talk to us again. Okay. Wonderful to see you again. <laughs> Happy New Year, Nerf Phoenix's child. It is good to see you at the Maji Market again. I don't know if you received my letter in the mail. I did. I thought it was for a different thing, but it's for this. Um, but I was hoping to speak to you about something rather urgent. Did something happen? There was an incident late in the night that resulted in several wish ribbon near toppling from our beloved wish tree. How did that happen? That I am still trying to figure out. If it is in not too much trouble, may I ask for your help in collecting the fallen wish papers for me? I would do it so myself, but I cannot afford to leave the tree unattended. Leave it to me, you owe me for this, I'm always here to help, not even to use the bathroom. <laughs> uh, leave it to me. Your enthusiasm is as refreshing as always. Take your time recovering all the fallen wish ribbons on the market, and do handle them with utmost care. It would sadden me if they were to be damaged in any way. Make sure you take some time okay wish ribbon hunting i guess i wonder where they would afford oh here's one okay oh i see another sparkle that's number two so there's five of them around places oh here's another one i would assume that all of them shouldn't be too far away from the tree it hasn't been that windy i would assume Okay, there's two more to find. Oh, uh, just a moment. My second screen got too hot, and now I have to pull up chat on my phone. <laughs> there we go. Chat is back up and going. Okay, two more ribbons. Oh, here's one. One more ribbon. Hi, has anyone seen a ribbon over here somewhere? Just a, just a nice little wish ribbon. Nope, there it is. I knew they wouldn't be far from the tree. I'm here to help with whatever ails you. Welcome, Phoenix's child. I've collected all the wish papers. Oh, wonderful. Did you happen to read what was written on them by any chance? Uh, I... I didn't- I didn't know that I could. <laughs> um, it, it felt wrong to look, I'll say that. <laughs> or I didn't care to. Uh, it, it felt wrong to look. That's understandable. Majiri tradition wishes are meant to be shared with and only fulfilled by one another. Wish fulfillment is an act of unconditional kindness to someone. Maji is not the only one with the power to grant wishes. We too have that ability. In any case, I cannot thank you enough for your help, Phoenix's child. This makes me wonder if that quest that showed up in his temple about uh, Najima's wish was like a prelude to the festival, like a hint that this that this was going to be a thing, because <laughs> it's it's basically the same, right? He he talked about um, about wishes with that as well, and wish fulfillment. If it is all right, I would like to request your assistance with another task. How can I help? 
The incident with the toppling wish papers occurred in the dark of the night, after I had already departed from my post at the wish tree. In the dark of the night, but I thought the magic market was during the night time. Okay. I did not witness what happened, but it's possible someone else did. If we learn how the incident occurred, we can find a way to prevent it from happening again. Could I trouble you to ask around and see what you can find? Uh, sure. Lightning conversation, as always. Hey, Kenyatta. There must be more to life. Hopefully there's something interesting to say. I'm so bored. Did you see what happened with the wish tree? I've been too annoyed about wearing this awful costume to care about anything else. You have no idea how itchy and sweaty this thing gets. Wait, actually, I remember hearing the, uh, these super high-pitched screams as we were closing up for the booth for the night. I looked up and saw someone running from the fairgrounds. I would have guessed it was the Bahari Reaper, but I doubt he's got fluffy ears. Uh, Interesting. Also, uh, let's flirt. For our yes, Kitty, you're really tall. Yes, I find it very agreeable when trying to reach tall things in tall places. Would you like my assistance in your vertical challenges? Yes, yes I would. <laughs> it is the Lunar New Year, a special occasion that is celebrated in Palia by Margeri, Galda, Grimalkin, and human alike. The celebration revolves around an annual phase of the moon, Lunar Moon, which reflects light more strongly at this time of year. No. Many sun cycles. <laughs> Many sun cycles have passed since I last witnessed it shining this brightly. Perhaps the atmosphere is thinner, therefore making it appear brighter. Until we can experience <laughs> He's great. Hey, Zeki. Well, if it newest entrepreneur. Well, 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 look who it is. Happy New Year, pal. Did you see what happened with the witch tree? Uh, the witch tree? What's that? Uh, I, uh, didn't see a single thing. Sorry, pal. Zeki, did you do something to the witch tree? <laughs> Suspicious in progress. Uh, can we? Stop by my office sometime. Did you see what happened with the wish tree? I've seen many things happen with the wish tree. What exactly are you referring to? Have you witnessed anyone tampering with it? Did you see any wish papers fall off? Let's do that one. Did I? Hmm. I may have. Oh, there was one incident. So yes, so my memory is returning to me now. It was late at night and everyone was preparing to leave the market. That's when I saw a shadowy figure sneaking towards the tree. Seeing them slinking through the fairgrounds gave me such a fright they let out a cry and crumbled to the ground. When I regained consciousness, the figure was gone. I am certain the direction they originally came from was near Zeki's prize wheel. No one ever lets me talk Zeki! <laughs> I'm suspicious. Hey, Rath. I knew you'd be back. What you up to? Did you see what happened with the wish tree? Hmm. Maybe. I'll tell you what I saw, but only if you tell me what you think about my Lunar New Year dishes. They're all great. There's a lot to choose from. Why isn't lettuce soup on the menu? I haven't tried any of them yet. They're all great. Now, that's what I want to hear. Have you tried my Ban Chang yet? No, I haven't. It's so good. I'm a sucker for anything made with glutinous rice, to be honest. Uh, so, about the wish tree. Yeah, now that I think of it, I did see something. I remember hearing a loud noise and when I looked up I saw a bunch of wish papers flying all over the place. Don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure I saw Zeki running from the scene. I don't know if he had anything to do with that, but he definitely had a front row seat to it. Can't talk more right now. Uh, how's it going? You guys are in progress. Ooh, you guys starting a game? I, I, I'll join. We'll continue the, the quest later. <laughs> um, I I wanna I wanna play more hot pots. <laughs> Cause this is I I really enjoy the hot pot. I was a little nervous about it because I'm always am when I have to like initiate it or like participate in these kinds of uh multiplayer kind of experiences <laughs> but it, I liked it it was fun just try not to spend too much time on my turn okay seems like we'll be the only two this time Ooh, okay interesting interesting so I want scenes and meat really Mm, I mean, I can get rid of you, and that's a fish one I can have, too. I really want those ones, if possible. Okay, let's draw another one. 
Ooh, let's get rid of you. Uh, that's the same as the meat that we have, but it's gone now anyway. Um. Hmm. Yeah, time if I you keep up the winning streak. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh yeah, not that one. Like I definitely vibe with this. Hmm. I'm gonna take you and give up you just to make sure I have at least one pair going right now. Uh let's grab you. Um, hmm, no. Oh, oh, you. Uh, and get rid of you. There we go. We have two pairs. One of them's a better pair. Better triple, I should say. Okay, let's draw another one. We don't want that. Oh, if we pick up that, we'll finish the game. <laughs> Did I win? I won! <laughs> oh. Ah, uh, there's the person there. They got they got one set. <laughs> oh, we should we should go talk to another person. Oh, it's so good. Okay. You seem to be settling into village life. So, so I could spare you a few seconds of my time. Did you see what happened with the wish tree? referring to that incident as we were closing up the market for the day then yes i did happen to witness something there was a deafening racket by the tree and i looked over just in time to see several wish papers toppling off the branches i'm quite sure i saw a sil certain silver tongue salesman fleeing from the scene yes the one with the fur you're very kind and compassionate <laughs> like me <laughs> Uh, I can return to Shane, but I'm going to keep asking everyone. With Armas's reward and... Have you returned? So smelly. I missed our chats. Did you see what happened with the witch tree? Mm -hmm. I was getting ready to head home when I saw Zeki sneaking off to the witch tree. He and, he and Kenley must have gotten in, in it, uh, into it at some point. Don't know what they were yelling about. But one of them ended up knocking some wishes off the tree. I need to work on me jam recipe. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> hmm... What should I make for dinner tonight? Did you see what happened with the wish tree? Heard a big commotion by the tree when me and Najima were closing up for the night. Don't know what happened, but it had Zeki running off with his fur standing on end. Clear out. <sighs> oh, it's eleven. Uh, it's almost time for the chopper chase. It's been nice seeing more people around here. Did you see what happened with the wish tree? I, I didn't see anything, I swear. Okay, I saw all of it, but I'd rather not tell you. I don't want to, I mean, anyone to get in trouble. S sorry. It's okay. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> the Hot Pot game makes me think of Uno and Mahjong mixed together. Yeah, yeah. They said it was like a Mahjong type game. I've never actually played Mahjong, but I assume it's very similar to that from what I've seen. <laughs> It's kind of fun. Like, the only Mahjong I've actually played is the 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 one where they just use the Mahjong tiles to match things, and that's it. <laughs> uh, there are several people at the Maji Market when the witch papers fell from the tree, namely the vendors, along with the event hosts, Ishii and Kenley. Among them, uh, at least one had, uh, had to have witnessed what happened. Everyone saw Zeki by the wish tree. Like, everyone. Hmm, I see. If Zeki was there, he must have... Uh, it's a, uh, he must have some valuable information as to what transpired. Perhaps you could talk to him and see what he knows. I hope you understand. I can try. Zeke, Zeke. Oh, look what the arm moved. Right Got something interesting, tell me. Valentine with the wish tree. Yeah, what about it? I told you I didn't see anything. So everyone says they saw you there when it happened. <laughs> what a load of arm dung. I wasn't there. Mm. Okay, maybe I was, and maybe I saw those witches toppling off the tree too. Spencer's killing me. Can you tell me what you know? Oh, this is getting good. Get to the point. Uh, can you tell me what you know? Alright, I confess. It was me. I was the one who knocked those witches off the tree. Blame Kenley. It was the one who made me do it. Kenley's sneakier than I thought. Is it really Kenley's fault? Death ran you with a moldy sandwich. Somehow it's always his fault. Is it really Kenley's fault though? Sure is. He may seem like a friendly chap, but he's sneakier than those pesky little choppers. I was heading out for the day when Kenley came out of nowhere. Just about scared the pants right off of me. 
He screamed, so I screamed too, and jumped right up. And at first, standing on end, must have accidentally knocked some of the wishes out of the tree in the process. Ah, I see. <laughs> I see. You must jump really high then. You must have been really scared. I can't believe I missed out on that. I find it hard to believe that's what happened. Uh, I can't believe I missed out on that. <laughs> Hey, my fright ain't free entertainment. If you're gonna point and laugh at me, at least toss me a few bags of coins while you're at it. I don't know if you've ever been seen a scared Grimalkin, but when someone gives us a fright and we let out a mean yell and jump uh, jump up sky high, I'm talking two to three times our height kind of high. That's what I get for trying to sneak, uh, sneak a peek at the wishes. I guess curiosity really did kill the cat. I thought you weren't interested in the wishes. I still ain't, I was just curious what other folks were wishing for, for business purposes, obviously. Oh, Chopper Chase has started. Hopefully causing this little mishap with the tree doesn't mean my luck is going to be bad this coming year. Not that I've ever been the luckiest guy around town. Guess if I had to wish for something, I'd ask for more luck. Uh, what's wrong? Uh, nothing really. Talking about all this wish stuff just remind me of the good old days before I went off on my own. I wonder how everyone's doing. Well, I'd love to chit-chat with you longer, but I got stuff to do and I'm sure you do too. If my permission to tell old Shane what really happened with the wish tree, I'm sure he'd want to know. See you around, pal. Let's circle back okay, I'll do that after I catch some choppers. Choppers! Choppers, where are you? Here. Come here. Come here. Uh, got him. Here, my little buddy. I'm gonna get you back to your pen. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, just keep looking. Da, 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 da. Oh, there they go. Oh. oh, I think everyone got them. Okay, <laughs> just keep moving. Da. We've already participated at least once, so we will get a lot of tickets from this, regardless. But we'll get more. We'll get more envelopes. I keep calling them tickets. They're envelopes these this time. Uh, we'll get more lucky envelopes the more we actually catch. So we've gotta we've gotta try and be vigilant. <laughs> There's so many people participating right now though. So we'll see how many we get. Oh, we got two. That's cool. Oh, there's some more. Okay. Go around the tree. Oh. Oh, I got him. I don't know if they spawn on the dock this time. They used to spawn on the dock. I haven't seen any over there yet. Oh, there's more wish trees on uh, wishes on that tree. I did not realize and I accidentally pressed F on it. <laughs> we will read those later then, I suppose. We Oh, there's a chop of people are chasing. Okay, still got a minute to go. That one's spawned right in front of me. Okay, that's four. <laughs> Chapa Chase music is some of my favorite music, I must say. Bum, bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. keep hearing them spawn behind me and I'm like can you spawn in front of me because I don't like turning around for them because someone else is probably already there trying to get them yeah and we'll go around here we'll let that person grab that one there we go what was the top someone got 11 nice I end up getting five <laughs> nice they got us a lot of envelopes we um, which I want to spend on recipes first. We'll go talk to Shane. Draken is everywhere you look. If you don't see him, 
Don't stop looking. <laughs> Tell Shane what happened with the wish tree. Ah, I had a feeling what happened with the wish tree was simply an accident. I hope Zeki does not blame himself for it. Did you speak about anything else? Talking about wishes reminds him of the good old days. Celebrations like these tend to resurface uh, past memories for many, myself included. Every Lunar New Year I am reminded of the first time I participated in the tradition of wish making. I remember being a young boy and attending a Lunar New Year festival with my fathers. They had a, uh, they had a grand wish tree, not unlike the one we have here. I vividly recall the delight I had when I dipped my first uh, uh, when my when I dipped my wish paper in the dye, the joy of being lifted onto my papa's shoulders so I could hang my wish on the tree. The more time passes, the more dear those memories become. Perhaps Zeki is reflecting on his past in a similar way. I'm worried about him. Should I talk to him about it? He probably needs space. We should cheer him up. Um, should I talk to him about it? It is best we hold off for now. I have a feeling Zeki will open up with time. Let us be patient until then. And you, Phoenix's child. How are you liking the Lunar New Year festivities so far? I'm having a blast. I'm taking my time exploring it all. It's nice hanging out with everyone. I was expecting something different. Um, I'm taking my time exploring it all. I see. Take your time seeing and experiencing all the market has to offer. How you enjoy the festivities is entirely up to you. Just know that I am here if you need me. I cannot thank you enough for your help. Please take this token of my gratitude. I will remember thank you. Your nice. I did see it say something about wish being ready, but like I don't have a, another wish token. I wonder how I get more of them. Because like you need them to be able to do them there. I don't know. And we'll stop by Rev. Uh, let's see about getting any more of these. Okay, mushroom dumpling soup. Nice. And we got a we got a prize coin. Is this being set up? No, it's in progress. Cool. Uh, I want to spin the wheel. And then we'll go. Yay! Well, we got some gold. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you guys. You guys wanting a, another person to join in the game? I will join. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> gotta gotta keep trying to win after all. Okay, uh purple and yellow is what I'm looking for. Uh hmm. I mean I could grab that one. I think I will. I'll grab that one and throw that one out. Hmm, I could grab that one too, but I didn't, so... Hmm... Uh, let's throw you out. We have four purples right now. Hopefully I, I get another blue mushroom, and I can get rid of the rest of the purples I have. Um, draw a new one. Uh, get rid of you. Ooh, blue mushroom. Hopefully no one snags that. Yes. And then I can do that, and then I can get rid of that purple as well. So I just need yellow and a white now. Ooh, that one would be good. Or that one. Ooh. I'm gonna risk it. Oh, a yellow one. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we have three per three blue mushrooms, three yellows. If we can get a block, one of those blocks, we will have one. Hopefully. So that's what we're looking for. And hopefully no one else finishes the game before I get it. <laughs>
Oh, there it is right there. <laughs> Time to eat. <laughs> please, please have, have me win. Yay, I won. <laughs> oh, nice. Hey. How's it going over here, guys? Oh, I think, I think it's, yeah, it's wrapping up now. We can't play any more hot pots. <laughs> Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> I've been doing pretty good with that. Uh, so we've got two stages of this. We need to get more of those done. One more of these and we win this New Year blue wall decor. Paste this on your wall, especially by doors and windows. Invite happiness and good fortune in the coming year. Cool. Well, play one more and then we gotta... We've actually... Uh, we completed those two and we just need to win three, three more? And we win this. New Year Personal Hot Pot. And that's cool. Okay. And then I should probably not try and win after I've done all the wins, I suppose. That way, hopefully, someone else wins and they get, they can get their wins. Ah, beautiful. Because we wanna, we wanna make sure other people get their wins too, and not just me snabbling up all the wins. <laughs> oh no! But I'll, I'll, I'll get all my wins first. And then I'll try not to get like three matching ones. I'll try and get like individual pieces in the colors to give people a chance to hopefully get more points than me. I wonder if these uh, things that we got for our reward, the start ones, are placeable or not. Just gonna have some things as we head back home. I really hope we get at least one starred star stone today. That would be really nice. Also have a new recipe to make when we get home. As long as it doesn't need like soy sauce or something because we haven't bought any of that yet. And from the looks of it we can only get it at the market right now. Also known as Gina still hasn't had the courage to actually come to the market yet. I was hoping she would. I don't think we've seen her there. She, but she gets very anxious and stuff. She's, she's not good around a lot of people. So she tends not to participate so much, even if she wants to. Cool. Now let's see if these are... <gasps> they are placeable. Awesome. Um, I'm gonna get a table for the food items that we don't craft ourselves. Uh, there must be some kind of cool table I can use for outside for it. That I have somewhere in here. It's a cool table. Hmm. 
I mean, we could go with uh, with this one for now. I don't know if they'll give us uh, something like we got last time, like this this little ma med magic market thing. So for now, we'll just put these new things on here. So we've got that one. There was that one. That one. And that one. Very cool. I don't have to try and buy those up at least, so that's nice. Uh, put those away. Okay, what is the recipe that we just got from Wrath this time? Uh, it wasn't that one, I don't think. Did... No, it is this one. Ah, we need soy sauce for it. And the bok choy. So we can't make it until the bok choy is ready and we buy some soy sauce. I should write that down actually. That it's something that I need to still craft. Mushroom dumpling soup. Mushroom dumpling soup. And put soy sauce and bok choy. Awesome. And then we'll pick up our seeds and do our garden. Alright, I also need to put on some more tomato seeds to be made because we have less than 30 tomato seeds. I like to keep my seeds up so I don't have to make them as much. Yeah. Onion. Goes there. Oh, that's a tomato that needs to be replaced. I'm also remembering something else that we have to do um, since this update. Because there's something that we didn't get last time with things. Oh, uh, it's a tomato. Um, the, the silver wing thing. But at the same time, uh, I don't think we've actually finished all of those yet, have we? Ooh. Just remembering, like, we still have, uh, we still have some, some bundle stuff to do, don't we? To, I we have to check that. Because I'm not a hundred percent sure on it. Okay, tomato. Hmm, but I could have also have completed it. I'm not sure. So yeah, we'll go we'll go check that. Go check how our air temple stuff went. Whether we actually completed it or not, whether um we need to go check whether we can get the silver wing yet or not. Tomato. Potato, potato. Made a tomato. Boop. And boop. And you also need watering. Then you three need watering. Oh, and up this way. Here we go. Everything's watered. Okay. Uh, we've got another letter in the mail. Uh, from Zeki. 
Hey pal, something real fishy is going on. I need your help figuring it out. Meet me at the market and I'll tell you what the deal is, Zeki. Okay. Noted. Noted, Zeki. Um, I also need a... I didn't check whether I can put preserves on or not. Oh, I do have a lot of corn. Um, alright. I have to refresh these because they're broken for various reasons. Yeah, there we go. Do that. Just something that I found everything uh, that I had going when I logged off last is just like stuck and I have to redo them. But it's fine. Uh, do that and do that. There we go. Everything should be working properly now. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, let's go, let's go check the bundle stuff. And then see if we need, like, this, the air temple for any reason or something. Because I think I remember them saying specifically to visit the air temple for the, to get the silverwing thing to proc or something. So we'll see if we need to do that. Okay. Shall we eat some food on our way as well? We. Hi, little chopper. Spice sprouts. Okay, let's go in and check. I don't wonder if I need to like redo this quest or not. Okay. Yeah, that one was complete. I know that one was complete, and that one's complete. Oh yeah, we did complete that. Oh, there we go. Okay, we didn't have to go all the way to the air temple. We just needed to interact with the the bundle again. Okay, we ha we have the silverwing nest, so we did complete the bundle. I was I was wondering about that. I was like, well, did we get all those those uh, extra things that we had to? I wasn't sure. Ah, oh, now we can go put our silverwing with our kisu. Oh, there's there's some tiny flow trees. I'm gonna leave those because those are those are cut and cuttable by people with lesser axes, and they'll probably need the flow wood a lot more than I need the flow wood. Like I don't need the flow wood so much that like I've I don't think there's any furniture I need to actually craft. That I haven't crafted yet at the moment so much. So that's how little I need flow wood. <laughs> I do want to uh, have a collection of one of every furniture that I can put down on a second lot though. My Ikea lot, as I call it. Which unfortunately I can't make the way I would like, but that's okay. Because I'd love to just take all the large rooms and just like attach them all together to make one giant room. But that doesn't, it doesn't work like that unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, everything load in. Okay, let's get this. Oh, Akisu is back once more. Okay. Uh it's very large as well. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's move a year. And we're gonna Can I can I move you? Oh, there we go. I'm gonna move you a little bit like there. And then we're gonna put you uh, like, here? 
Here we go. And a silver wing, I think, is supposed to like come like once a day and like lay an egg or something. Something like that. So that'll happen at some point. Oh. <sighs> I need to fill up my water. Let me go do that. Let's go make sure everyone is hydrating and has their water filled. Sitting down, putting it there, 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 cool. Okay, my water is filled. Uh, we have a little bit more renown, I think, so we should... Let me, let me double check inventory. Yeah, we have 196 renown, so I'm gonna go... And go to the town hall and get another one of the the things that has been unlocked that's new at the town hall do, 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 do. Because for people who don't know there are now cool wallpaper things and roof tiles and stuff you can get oh they're so cool um let us just buy the first one on the list thank you Stop by Sifu's to repair our tools. And let's go back looking for these starred star stones. Maybe the reason why it came up and said about that wish thing, about uh, another wish being ready, is you can only put one wish in once a day, but that doesn't mean that you have received another wish thing to be able to make a wish. Maybe making more wishes is kind of like getting the coins for Zeki's spinning thing, and the more things you buy, the more chance you'll have of getting uh, another wish sheet. It's possible. We'll find out as we as we continue getting uh, lucky envelopes to purchase things. Oh, more things to harvest. Just a regular citrine. Okay. And we're once again gonna head down this way because I wanna I still wanna get more like ginger and green onions and stuff. Okay, just some clay. Harvest everything we come across. together. we. Oh. Eh. I want you. Thank you. Okay. I wonder how many other people are just running around mining stuff today trying to get the starred star stones.
Because I, I, I like to have all of the placeable things. Okay. I'll just cross over here. Looking for more things to mine. Here's a piece. Still no starred sustenance. Oh, it's a mushroom. Mushroom, mushroom man. I'm gonna be a mushroom man. Some more copper. Come on, Jim. Nope. <laughs> Got silver, though. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, green onion. Yoink. Oh, more copper. Oh, and this one, too. Keep going. Just keep an eye on the time so that we head back to our house at 4.30 again. So that we can drop things off and prep for the market. <laughs> nice. Anything else to harvest along here? Oh, I see some stuff over that way. I'll go over there. Ooh, there's a lot just leading up that way. There's also another copper up the hill. We should grab that before we keep going up. I spotted you. Some rock over here. Oh, gotta eat some food. Focus check, everyone. Uh, I'm also just gonna say in chat. Focus check. <laughs> just every so often, like to say it in chat. See if anyone actually responds to it. Because <laughs> God. Uh, back, back in, back, uh, back at the beginning, like so many people were calling out focus check every so often. It was really, it was really great and wholesome, and I really want to encourage people to go back to those days. Get the new people, uh, kind of get the whole uh, vibe of it. <gasps> we got a start citrine. Oh, we did it. Okay, that's number one. Number one. Um. There's still another one we can get from clay, so we we do still need to um, harvest clay and stuff. But that's one. That's one of the stones. So, come over and grab this moss. Okay. Just keep doing it. Do do do. 
Hello. Oh, there's a piece of clay over here. Okay. That's one of... How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One out of ten. Onion. Oh, up here. Grab you. Oh, night. There we go. Thank you. Oh, there's a stone. Oh, I see something down there. Need some more green onion. Yoink. Some more stuff over here. Is that a ginger? Yep, ginger. Some onion. God, thinking about ginger and seeing the, the the look that they've chosen for the ginger just makes me think of the time I used to I used to buy little bits of ginger, um, ginger root, and just uh oh. Uh, use a grater on it to like uh, get get it to small bits and then I do used to make uh, ginger tea with it so just just putting basically putting the ginger in some hot water with some honey and stuff and making my my own ginger tea it was it was really nice I I like that But if you don't use it up very fast, you end up uh, with with moldy ginger, and that that sucks. <laughs> okay, I might start running along this way, seeing what we can find. God, we gotta fix that bridge sometime. I really hope that we get a chance to fix that bridge. Like, pe when people have talked about the possibility of um, communal, like, um, fundraising in the town to, like, make a new building or something like that, like, the possibility of that happening, uh, they quite often mention about can we also just fix the bridge? <laughs> That's the bridge they're always talking about. Have the leaves always done that? Is that is that a new thing? Or have they always done that? Hi, Ashura. Ooh. Gotta harvest everything. Do 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 do. Yeah, it's almost getting to the time we need to start hitting it back, but not quite yet. Ah, oh, whoop. <laughs> Okay, calm down. <laughs> calm down, climbing. Oh, 
There's some more stones over here. Excuse me, come out though. That person's doing some hunting, so I will be careful not to frighten their prey. I wonder if you can buy um, the bok choy and stuff from here. I like the seeds, obviously, but the actual products themselves, if they're in here right now. No, they haven't been added to uh, Mbadru's produce yet. That's okay. Just thought I'd check. Okay, almost time to head back. So I'll start like heading back in that direction as we harvest stuff. Drop some things off. And then head back down to the market again. I've got to pick out some, uh, pick out some new clothes for my uh, for the for the Lunar New Year as well. Like I'm still wearing I'm still wearing our our mushroom our Nintendo celebration outfit. <laughs> it changed the pants at one point though. I also don't need to be wearing long sleeves anymore. I was wearing like long sleeves and stuff because um. I wanted to represent that we were having the Winter Lights Festival in game, but in real life, it's hot, and I would like my uh, my character to be wearing something that reflects that. Mmm, <laughs> Fog froggy hat stays though, because I love it. Just turning on the fan a little bit because it's hot. Dropping things off. And this is one of the roof things. We could change the roof if we wanted to. We do have a blue roof, which I do like best. Uh, and then we're changing it to this. Put those away in there. But this one gets placed down somewhere. I don't know where I'm going to put these yet. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'll put them around this, because this is where I have my little uh, display of my Pelvian thing. My uh, Kilner's Miner's Tower of Pal Palian. So uh, we'll, put, we'll put the little, little citrine there. Okay, um, and we should head off to the market so we can go participate in more festivities. Cause that's the that's the reason for stream today, basically. <laughs> and then we'll probably uh stream a single day of Palia on our actual stream days this week as well. Um, we'll see. Um, otherwise we'll just be playing Vault Hunters as usual. Uh, I've said this like multiple times during stream probably at this point I just wanted to make sure that I was when the uh, uh, that I played the update on stream first rather than what I've done before and just play it off stream and then you guys don't get to see uh, the cool stuff one time though the reason why I didn't play it on stream was definitely because I wasn't even home when the update dropped I was I was at my boyfriend's place So I was I was playing it on his computer and I couldn't stream from there, so. 
And that was uh, when the winter light stuff started dropping. Yum. To the market. Everyone's coming in. Zeki, hi. Got any new goods for me? Uh, you wanted to talk? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> did you hear me? Is everything all right? Boo. Um, uh, uh, is everything all right? You're worrying me. Are we playing the quiet game? A smile would be nice. Um, you you're worrying me. Oh, am I now? Sorry, it ain't like me to be this moody. Guess this cat just woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. Had a tough time sleeping last night. Keep waking up constantly and having these weird dreams. Ugh, I can still hear all that boiling lava if it's quiet for too long. Oh, that sounds unpleasant. You must have had some crazy dreams. I want me to start screaming. Uh, that sounds unpleasant. Oh, you have no idea, pal. The timing couldn't be worse. I'm supposed to be in a festive mood right now. Man, I sure hope those dreams don't mean I, I, I'm in for some bad luck this year. What was your dream about? Can't remember at all, but got bits and pieces here and there. Let me tell you, pal, it's a disaster if I've ever seen one. I was enjoying a nice walk, then BAM! The stars started exploding. Because I, I started running for my life, I had to jump over boiling lava and claw my way through a bunch of thorny vines. When I finally got to the other side, there was this huge windstorm and papers were flying everywhere and getting stuck in my fur. To make things worse, some of them were wet, so my fur got all damp too. You, you're describing all of the elements there, Zeki. Like, that's... Interesting. You don't have fur, so you wouldn't know, but it's like wet socks, but if those socks were stuck all over your body, including your face. Ugh. Um, thanks. I totally need to imagine that. That's my worst nightmare. Uh, thanks. I totally need to imagine that. You're welcome, pal. Anytime. I don't know about you, but whenever I get crazy dreams like that, I'm completely wiped out the next day. I mean, yeah, I, I definitely, if I've had a dream that's been really bad, it does affect me for the whole day. It's it's pretty bad. <laughs> like, deader than the preserved tuna in my pantry. I keep nodding off when I'm not supposed to, and every time I close my eyes, I keep seeing all that stuff from my dreams. It's got to be a sign. That must be difficult. Lucky you, you're overthinking things. Um, that must be difficult. Eh, nothing's worse than the time I got sick and had to eat Delia's pecky soup for two weeks straight. Don't get me wrong, that stuff was tasty, but I miss my daily dose of sushi so much I just ain't the same cat without it. Ah, uh, seriously though, these little visions I'm getting are seriously wearing me out. I feel like they're trying to tell me something, but I don't know what. Someone else might. Yeah, there's gotta be somebody out there who can figure out this mumbo jumbo. I don't, I don't mind if you, uh, if you, uh, you ask around and see what folks think. Just promise not tell anyone it's my dream you're talking to me to them about. Got it? Thanks for the visit, pal. Okay. Hmm. Noted. Noted. That is a cute name. Potato roll. <laughs> Finley, nice hi. To stop by. Uh, could you interpret the stream for me? Oh. Why, of course. I'm glad you asked. <gasps> Tell him about the dream. Oh, exploding stars, boiling lava, soggy paper. How utterly terrifying. I thought Ishe was uh, scary when she doesn't have her early morning tea. Please heed my warning, Kitty. A dream like this... Only spells disaster. That reminds me of the terrifying ordeal I had the other night. Would you like to hear about it? Uh, sure. Excellent. I was hoping to find someone to talk about it to. I dreamt that I was wandering through the dark halls of the estate, cold, lonely, and worst of all, hungry for a midnight snack. As I searched desperately for the way to the kitchen, I realized I was being followed by a lovely little chopper. Except it was no ordinary chopper. It was floating and it was missing its eyes. Oh, the horror. <laughs> I ran away in a fright, desperate for a way out. He was close behind me the entire time, taunting me and judging me, even though he could not see me. Before I knew it, I was in my garden, surrounded by everyone from the village. I was so relieved to see their faces until they all pointed at me and laughed. That's when I realized I was in my underwear. No wonder it was so breezy. I woke up on the kitchen floor, covered in sweat, and thankfully, oh, I had pants on. I suppose I could get back to work. Damn. In a bit. Okay. <laughs> hey, Nadja. Could you interpret the stream for me? 
Uh, I could try, but I don't know if I'd be any good at it. Well, well, the first thing I thought of when I heard exploding stars was a star shower. Or, or, or maybe fireworks? That's like exploding stars, don't they? As for lava, definitely something hot and bubbly. Maybe a hot spring? Oh, maybe the dream is about soaking in a hot spring while watching falling stars. Not really sure what soggy paper has to do with anything, though. Uh, Najima, that was a great interpretation. I appreciate it. Hey, Hodari. How you doing? Hmm. You're back? Could you interpret the stream for me? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, great talk. <laughs> he was just immediately, no. <laughs> I'm not, not doing that. These days I see you more than me own boy. <laughs> oh, the boys keep telling me to take a break, but who has time for that? Could you interpret the stream for me? Ah. Of course, dearie. Back in my day, I must have, I used to keep a dream log for the, just that reason. It was always a lot of fun deciphering my dreams. Aww. I see. For starters, exploding stars could mean repressed feelings or emotions that want to just burst out. As for the lava, well, same thing. Strong feelings bubbling up to the surface. And the soggy paper, that's an odd one. Maybe a feeling of being weighed down by something. Maybe old memories. Forget to how fun it was to interpret dreams like this. Hopefully this will help, uh, be helpful to you yeah, in some way. Yeah. I need to work on jam recipes. Th thanks, Delilah. That was great. Um. Hey, Red. I I don't think I have enough stuff. I do. I don't. Okay. I do want to purchase a soy sauce. Uh, thank you. Hi. In progress. What are you guys? Oh, you guys are waiting for someone. I'm gonna I'm gonna join in. <laughs> oh, four seconds to go. <laughs> Hello. I am here to join you. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So, I really want a red mushroom or some of these noodles. Something orange as well would be great. Ooh, like you. Uh, so that's one. So we need these kinds of noodles or a red mushroom would be great. That will be our goal for a bit. Oh, red mushroom. Uh, that. Okay. And then we just need to look for those noodles and we'll finish the game. Da, 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 da. Okay. Come on, noodles. No, wrong noodles. Do, 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 do. Okay, draw another one. Throw that out. Not the right noodles. Oh, that one. Done. <laughs> did we win? Hey, winning hand. I did it again. <laughs> oh, that one was, that person was getting pretty close as well. <laughs> anyway, we gotta we gotta also continue talking to people. We'll probably play some more uh, after we finish talking to people. I was about to pass out from Sup? boredom. Could you interpret this dream for me? Not like I can have anything better to do. Ah, uh, exploding stars, boiling lava, and soggy paper. Sounds like a party gone wrong, all right. Whoever had this dream must be thinking about going off and having a good time. Wish I could do that right now, but I'm running this booth instead. Huh. Uh, hi, Shane. Always good to have your wisdom. Welcome, Phoenix's child. Could you interpret the stream for me? Yes, of course. I might not have all the right answers, but I will certainly try my best to offer additional insight. I see. Well, some believe that dreams are a form of wish fulfillment. Perhaps there is something lacking in our lives, or simply something that we desire strongly enough to manifest them in our unconscious state. 
Many also believe that what we see in our dream state is the reality of an alternate form of ourselves, perhaps one that resides in a parallel world. Some Margeri even believe that Margie himself occasionally visits us in our sleep, offering guidance when we need it most. I realize I've deviated from the matter at hand. I do apologize for that, Phoenix's child. It's okay, this is interesting and uh, interesting stuff. Indeed, I've always found the dreams to be fascinating occurrences. If you recall, Delilah has kept a dream journal in the past for the purpose of interpreting what she experienced. Yes, she did tell me that. Perhaps she would offer much deeper insight than myself. Thank you. Uh, looks like Ishe has uh, more to say as well. Well Make it quick. On my Could you interpret the stream for me? It doesn't look like I have time for such nonsense. Mind you, the Margie market won't operate itself. Uh, okay. Um. But that, I, there's no one else to talk to about it? But we still have to find the meaning of the boiling lava in the soggy paper, but no one else, no one else wants to talk about it. You'd be back. Okay, I can still talk to other people. Okay. Uh, sure, just so you know I'm an expert at dream interpretations. Whoa. Whoa! Exploding stars, boiling lava, and soggy paper. Sounds like a fun time. Thanks for the invite. I'm just messing with you. It sounds like a pretty crazy dream. You know what they say? What you see in your dreams are things you desire. Don't know why anyone want all those things, though. Unless... Unless? Things aren't as they seem. Maybe we're looking at things upside down, you know what I mean? Hmm, let's see. Exploding stars. Oh, maybe fireworks. Boiling lava. Ah, a pot of my delicious lettuce soup. Or hot pot. And soggy paper. This one got me stumped, not gonna lie. Maybe you could try asking around about that? Can't talk more right now. For... Hmm. Maybe the soggy paper is about the, the wishes. The wish... Grow any new vegetables? wishes from the tree. Animals? <laughs> I'll have some okay. New material for Can't you ask next. him about it. Who else could we possibly talk to? Tish. Don't you just love the window? Nope. Can't wait to chat again. Okay. Um. Oh, we can talk to a few other people again. Nice of you to stop by. What comes to mind when I say soggy oh, paper? Yeah. Disaster on a scale that's unfitting for me to speak of during a joyous celebration such as Lunar New Year. I'm sorry, Kitty, but we must not speak of this again. At least not until the New Year is over. No one ever lets me talk okay. this long. Uh, Kenyatta. Now First of all, gross. Secondly, you're asking me about that again? Good luck with that. I can't help you. I Sorry. I know. I'm just. I'm just trying. Just trying. Just getting around, trying. Oh, you can retrieve the wish from here. Oh. Oh, you get something. Oh. Uh. No, I want I for inventory. Gift of Prosperity. Okay, um... I open it and it got me some gold. Okay. Uh, I don't know where I get the wish ribbons from, though. That's something I still need to figure out. But you can retrieve the wishes from there. Okay, noted, noted. Anyway, uh, we need to talk to some more people before the chopper chase begins. Are you excited? Me to amuse you? Are you seriously pissing me again and with that nonsense? Unfortunately for you, I'll not indulge your silly questions. I have urgent business to take care of. I was going to say no again, but I'm going to ask anyway. Exactly that. Soggy paper. Say, yep. Soggy paper just makes him think of soggy paper. I'm not surprised. <laughs> you shouldn't sneak up on people who make you Oh, are you still trying to figure out that part of the dream out? Hmm. Well, I think about paper that's been floating in the water. I find some in the bay once in a while. I don't think about it. I dealt with wet paper recently when I was dipping my wet, uh, wish ribbons in the colored dye. They didn't exactly get soggy, though, so I don't know if that counts. I, I think that counts. Let's, uh, we've got to talk to Rith, apparently. Uh, let's, let's, let's see what Delilah has to say as well I about it. Always make room at the table for one What's more? the first inter interpretation on enough for your theory? Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm glad to give you another perspective. Hmm, so paper. If not something metaphorical, maybe it could stand for something more literal. Wait a minute, I had my hands on some wet paper that long ago. That's right, it was the wish ribbons. Those are the only soggy papers I can think yeah, of. So, <laughs> so she also came to the same conclusion. Okay. Hey, Rith. So, uh, want What's up to? Soup? Uh, the soggy paper represents... Wish ribbons. Oh, wish ribbons. Well, that makes a ton of sense. So we've got fireworks, hot pot, and wish ribbons. Looks like this dream was about the Lunar New Year. 
I think you're right. Man, I'm a genius. Maybe I should consider career change and become a dream interpreter. I'll do my readings over a pot of lettuce soup. <laughs> Sounds great. Um, and I would talk to Zeki, except Chopper Chase is about to begin very shortly. So I'm gonna just sit in the pan. Uh, and wait. There it goes. Do, 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 do. Is it 10 past? I think it's 10 past. Yep, yeah, there they go. The only sad thing is we don't see the, the choppers. Oh, that one glitched all the way. Oh, where? Where? I. Uh, that one's being. Oh my god. Some of them are being weird. Like, okay. Okay. Like, last time uh, the chopper chase happened, uh, the choppers were already in the pen and they ended up jumping out. Um, but this time, uh, they, they don't start in the pen and we just get them in the pen, which is interesting. But you. The more we collect, the more that goes in there. Oh, these guys are running out this way. Let's go catch them. Oh, pull them out of the ground like a turnip. <laughs> You're not going in there, buddy. You're going to your pen like a good boy. Oh, there's one. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, I'll let that person go for that one. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, he's done here. Okay, keep running around. Not seeing any choppers right now. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's another one that spawned. Okay, someone's after that one. Oh, uh, hello. Just as I was passing by. <laughs> Come on, little buddy. Back to your pot. Back into your spot. Oh, there's one just sitting there. It's number 10. Oh, I'm getting to your... Give me it. Oh, someone else got him. That's our cat. Oh, it's an... Oh, no. <laughs> Once again, I accidentally clicked on those wishes. It's also nice to note that you don't actually have to jump in the pen to get the... Um, to get the chopper done. Also, there's a chest right here that I did not see before. I had some lucky envelopes in it. Oh, there's some more up here. Come here. Yeah, when I first saw the chopper chase, I was like, oh, do I have to jump in the pen to uh to make sure they go in there? But no, you can just you can just touch the side of the pen and they go in. Oh, pop, 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 pop. I'm here. You little bugger. Okay, it's 15. Okay, we only got a few more seconds left. Oh, there's a bunch right here. Seven seconds. Oh, there's one. Get me your little buddy. Got him. That'll be number seven. Ah, oh, not enough for 17. We ended up getting 16 in total. Oh, I got the most. Nice. 
very good. Uh, let's talk to Zeki. Day, uh, I just have the meaning of what you saw in your dream. Really? That was quick. So it explains Sars all about. Uh, fireworks. Fireworks, eh? Guess that adds up. Moving on, then. What about the boiling lava? Still, if that, uh, it's a hot pot. A hot pot, it's hot and bubbly, just like lava. That explains why I smell something good in my dream. Guess we know what the lava means. Last but not least, what's a soggy paper mean? They're wish papers. Eh? But wish papers aren't wet. Oh wait, technically they are when you dip them in that super colourful dye. You've, paint, you've painted a pretty big picture for me. I'm finally seeing how it all fits together. Just kidding. I'm even more confused than I was before. Tells Zeki the true interpretation of his dream. Fireworks hop on wish paper. Sounds familiar, but I can't quite put my claw on it. Um, take a look around you. It sounds like Lunar New Year, right? Hmm, neither can I. Don't play dumb. Take a look around you. Oh, well. What do you know? Looks like we've got, uh, we've got all that here. Guess I've been spending so much time caught up in the Lunar New Year. That showed up in my dreams, too. Ah. Uh, is everything alright? Yes, so the Lunar New Year stuff really brings me back to the good old days. Things were simpler when I was a kid. And, uh, Ashura, uh, can you <laughs> move over? I'm kind of to Zeki. <laughs> uh... Um, ignorance is bliss. Sure is, pal. When we were kids, our parents usually take care of, a, of all the hard and boring stuff for us. Then we get old and we're off on our own. Not gonna lie, I miss my mom, my pops too, and the rest of my stinking litter mates. Even that toy hogger Zara. N haven't, haven't seen them in a long time. You should reach out to them. I could, but don't know if any of them would respond. It ain't because we got bad blood between us or anything, but me, we Grimalk are not uh, exactly known to be close to our families. Once we, uh, we're we weaned off our mothers, we get shipped off uh, straight uh, to start working for the cartel to fight for our official freedom. Basically, to free ourselves from debt, most of us spend our whole lives to pay it all off. Oh, so, so all the Grimalkin are just basically slaves to the cartel. Is that what you're telling me, Zeki? Jesus Christ. That doesn't sound good. We're taught to be self-sufficient from a young age, so we learn not to rely on anybody but ourselves, our parents, our litter mates, and certainly not the Chimera, Danya. It sounds tough. I'll be lying if I said I didn't wonder how how they're all doing. My uh, family, I mean. Especially my old mum. Oh, my old man, if he's still alive and kicking. Out of the two of them, my pops was definitely the one to spoil us. He'd take us out all the time and sneak us little presents when my mom wasn't looking. There was one time he brought us out late at night to look up at the moon, Luna to be exact. Ooh. Boy, it was a sight to behold. She was shining real bright like a giant lucky coin in the sky. I climbed up on my pa's shoulders and tried to grab it, almost had it in my paws, till that jerk Zara pushed me off so she could get a better look. Uh, what a meanie, just land on your feet. That wasn't very nice of her. You deserved that. Uh, that wasn't very nice of her. Right, she always picked it on the rest of us just because she was the one, the first one when our ma popped out. Thought everything she touched was hers and only hers, including our parents. I was young and clumsy, so I fell right onto my butt. Man, did it hurt. I, uh, may have shed a couple of tears. My pa couldn't get uh, me, get me to stop wailing, so he brought us all to, to a Lunar New Year festival that was going on nearby. That's where I saw it. One of the prettiest things I'd ever laid eyes on, a wish tree filled with colourful little lanterns and wish ribbons. The waterfall immediately stopped flowing from my eyes and I asked to sit on my old man's shoulders to get a closer look. Tell me what the tradition was all about, how people make wishes and hope Margie or someone else will fulfil them. But like I told you before, we Grimalkin don't believe in making wishes, except for my pa. He was never the type to follow rules. Like here. Hey, I'm plenty good at following the rules when I want to. Being the rebellious cat that he was, my old man let us make wishes as long as we promised not to tell our ma. Yeah. So I made one, and I dipped it in colourful dye and everything, all my, it go all over my paws, but it was worth it. What'd you wish for? To experience the Lunar New Year for my family again. Well, that never happened, so I guess Margie didn't see my wish. Maybe the time isn't right yet. <laughs> It'd be a miracle if a wish like that ever came true. It's alright though, it's not like we left that festival empty-handed. Oh. Old man bought a candy box for us all to share. I'll tell you, pal, those sweets were out of this world. They're so good that my ma forgave him for taking us out without asking her first. We all sat around the table and ate them together like family. Ah, uh, I hope you're all doing better out there than I am. I'm sure they're doing great. Probably thinking about you too. You, you aren't doing too bad yourself. I hope so too. I'm sure they're doing great. Yeah, probably. Especially that greedy bully Zara. Bet she's rolling in riches right now. I wonder if we'll meet Zara, since she was specifically named. 
Maybe all of them are celebrating Lunar New Year too, somewhere out there. Anyway, tell Shane I said hi. He keeps checking in on me, and I'd hate to worry him. Feel free to tell him everything I told you while you're at it too. I ain't got anything to hide. Aw, Zeki. Ah, uh, we're gonna miss out on participating in another hot pot, because it's I just about finished, but you know. You May you walk with the dragon. Zeki said hi. Did he now? Please send him my warmest regards. Tell Shane what happened with Zeki. Doesn't surprise me that Zeki shared all that with you. I had a feeling it would open up eventually. Tell me, Phoenix's child, how did Zeki appear to be feeling at the conclusion of your conversation? Sentimental, defeated, relaxed, cheerful. Sentimental. Zeki may wear a playful and light-hearted countenance most of the time, but worry that it is sometimes it's simply a disguise for his true feelings. He has never been one to wear his heart on his sleeve, especially when it comes to matters that are dear to him. Is there something we can do for him? You have done more than enough for Zeki, Phoenix's child. It's time for the rest of us to remind him that he is as valued a member of our community as you and I. He cherishes the memory of enjoying a candy box with his family. Perhaps we can gift him one and fill it with kind messages from everyone here at the Margie Market. I just so happen to have one here that I have yet to open. All that is missing are kind messages from everyone here at the Margie Market. Would you do the honours of collecting those, Phoenix's child? Leave it to me. Kindness continues to warm my heart. Record all messages here in this journal. Bring it back to me when you are finished and I'll handle the rest. He to say, please do not tell Zeki about this gift. <laughs> about this. Some gifts are better meant as surprises. Aww, oh, that's really nice. And we won't be able to collect them now because uh, everyone is heading off now. But we'll be able to do it the next night. Which we probably won't be able to do much of. We'll be able to do a little bit of before we have to finish up the stream. Oh, we might be able to do the whole night. We'll see. We'll see. Let's go a little over time. Oh, well. Let's let's go back home, I guess. <laughs> or should we just go out and start doing some uh, mining? Oh, we just still need to do our garden, so we do need to go home. Do, 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 do. Uh, and my brain sort of thinking maybe they also made uh the Margie market into its own instance this time to make sure that people would actually have people participating in the hot pots and stuff. Because if they kept it part of Kilmer Village and only like a couple of people showed up to the market, it would uh it would mean that like sometimes the hot pots wouldn't be able to be done and stuff. Alright, we're heading home. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's another piece of stone here to do. star stones okay let's go drop things off add this uh treasure box to the to our treasure pile okay Oh, the silver wing's there! Oh, I can kind of see it. Oh, I wonder how close I can get before it flies away. Oh, it's so cute! Oh. 
Here he goes. Oh. <laughs> Grab that from the kisser. And a blue candy egg. Okay. Oh, no, uh, inventory. Um, consumable. A gift from the silver wings. Where do they f find it? Uh, where do you think they found it? Yeah, that's, that's cool. And they're not placeable, unfortunately. How much do they sell for? How much are they worth? Item cannot be sold, but you can eat it. Okay. Uh, put that away. They give a second Lunar New Year poster, and I think it's possible that it just accidentally gave me this one again, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, wait, they had played the Hot Pot mini game five more times to get the pink wall decor. What's the last one? An orange wall decor. Awesome. Yeah, we got that. Awesome. Yeah, that's all about getting extra stuff. Lucky treasure hunters. This banner, which we will get eventually as well. But like, how do we how do we make more wishes? I need to look into that. I'm gonna eat the egg. Um nom nom, delicious. Okay, um, I'm gonna put this chest in our pile of chests. There we go. <laughs> Look at all of our chests, we have so many of them. I also want to put this, they said put it near the door for like good luck. Oh, it's only a little small thing. I think we should put it over here with the stuff. There we go. But yeah, they gave us a, a second little little poster for some reason. <laughs> I think it was uh, it didn't mean to. It just did it when I entered the market again. But it's okay. We got a second one. Um, we gotta do our garden. So let's grab our stuff. Oh, I need to put some potatoes on. Here we go. Um. Corn, tomato, wheat, rice, and the cotton. Awesome. Oh, is that ready yet? Not quite. It's getting there. Oh, we're getting a little full. We might have to look at selling some things. Um, uh, not those yet. Um, make sure we sell these non starred seeds that we have, of the things that we have starred versions of, at least. Not, not the bok choy or the nap cabbage, because we need to keep more of that. Um, we can sell a little bit of worms, because we still have, like, heaps of those. Uh, sell some of you. And you. Okay. Uh, we are getting quite a bit of, like, stone and stuff, so we might sell some of that, too. Um, and I'm gonna sell a little bit of our, like... Our iron and our copper. And our flint needs to go down too. There we go. Uh, let's check our mail. Shane. Oh, here we go. Happy Lunar New Year, Kitty. I'd like to invite you to participate in our Lunar New Year wish making. And he's given us another wish. 
Okay, cool. So maybe he sends us another one every time we've uh, retrieved our, our wish from the tree. Uh, we'll check how stuff in here is going. You were completed. Let's do some of you. Uh, you were done. Let's do some of you. Uh, and I'm also just gonna put some of you on. Okay. We didn't end up purchasing any new recipes because we were busy with other stuff. So we'll go back out, do some more mining, and circle back around to the market again. Yeah, I definitely think I'm going to have uh, fun with this uh, this month. Because uh, for people who don't know, the Maji Market is on for a month. That's what it was last time. Uh, it's 26 days. Ends in 26 days. So we've got plenty of time to finish everything. Basically, almost four weeks. Okay. Uh, also, that's a quest item, isn't it? Let's... Can we... Uh, we can't just put it over there. Oh, I got another... Oh, that's Shane's journal. Oh, yes, uh, it's not a quest item. Okay. That's the journal he wants me to put things in that people want to tell Zeki. So, Zeki, I know, I know you want to spend Lunar New Year with your family, but... Have you thought of the fact that maybe we are your family now? And so you are spending it with your family. Maybe not the family you thought of at the time, but it's still a family. I think that's great. Ah, look at the rainbow. Oh, gotta get some spice sprouts. I wonder if each of the the wishes, the different types of wishes, have like a different pool of items it will possibly give you. I'm interested in looking up that after stream as well. Finding out more information about various things that I don't know about. Oh, more spice sprouts. Yoink. check down here for clay. Uh, looks like all the clay has already been taken recently, so we'll continue up this way. something to have us yeah more silver oh look at all this copper up here Okay, 
nothing from those. Come grab the moss. I should probably look for the chopper pile again because it I'm pretty sure it's uh ticked over to the next day. So we do need to go back to Zeki's, buy something from him there, uh, find the chopper pile. So I might go and do that. Bump and bump. Well, it's not here. I'm gonna assume it's uh, off in a place that we didn't... Oh no, it could still be on those little sections there. Which I think I do actually see it. Yeah, it's on that second little section. So we pass by this little rock here. And we go here. Put it in chat. Uh, chop a pile uh, near the farm. Oh, no, I wanted to press X. Thank you. And we got a worm. Okay. Back to harvesting rocks. forget whether it's uh chopper two a's first one a second or if if it's uh the other way around if it's one a then two a's is it chopper or is it chapa <laughs> Some clay. Oh, sidetrack to this. We. Okay, eat some food, and we're just gonna also call out a focus check in chat. Just play. Jump over the bridge. Oh, look at all this copper. I'm gonna run up this way first. Ooh. Look at all of this. Okay, we'll start here and we'll work our way back. There's so much to harvest. Boop, ba -da, boop. 
Yay, I'm running level 34. <laughs> getting so much copper not not many star stones at all they alone start star stones oh I got you little moss I heard you So much silver. <laughs> I'm probably gonna end up selling like a bunch of silver eventually. Depends how long I have to uh, keep harvesting uh, copper and stuff before I get all the star star stones. I'm really hoping that while I'm trying to get all the star star stones, I get like a nice little uh, collection of the regular ones as well that I can use to gift to the people I haven't gotten friendship up yet. Which I'm definitely gonna do at some point. Just take some of them uh, for the week and get around the, the star stones to the people. Get our friendships up. Okay, I guess I'm not using the bridge. I'll just run along the ground, don't mind me. Because uh, giving the correct person the uh, each person the correct star stone for them uh, gives you like a big boost in your friendship points. It's like uh, guides online that you can find to tell you which which stone belongs to which person, which is very useful. Otherwise, it's kind of trial and error trying to uh, throw a stone at them and see if they'll take it or if they'll be upset about it. But like uh, the Galders, Ina and Hecla, they don't take star stones because they were not born per se, so they don't have a star stone. Which I I, I think is bullshit. They they should have star stones. <laughs> I want to give Ina a nice star stone. Okay. And I think Subira also doesn't have a star stone right now. Pretty much everyone else does though. Yeah, we still have lots of time before we have to head back home. I don't know if there's many stones up in this way. Oh, there's one here. Oh, this way, this way. Go. Nice. So there is actually a lot of mining points around here. 
which is nice to know. I should really uh, duck into here more often. And Ginger also spawns around this area as well, important to know. I don't know about the onion yet, so I didn't see any yet, but we definitely know the Ginger spawns around the, around the Magi statue. Mm. Any stones up here? Oh, there is. Have some copper. Two and three. Oh, there's a stone that's appeared here. Wee. That was just a regular quartz, though. Anything here? Oh, here's the stone. Uh, more stone. There's lots of mining today. Okay. This way. still have an hour and a half in game time to find more things to harvest. I don't know if there's many mining points along the side here, but I thought I'd check anyway. I don't think there is many. Oh, there's a stone there. And... Whoop, glide over here. Come on, Sarstone. Ah, uh, just a regular quartz, but at least it was a Sarstone. <laughs> I do wonder about the frequency of starstone sometimes, like how how many nodes do you have to mine before you get one? Do each of the sizes of the nodes depict your chances as well? That's that's something I'm curious about. Like if, do you have a more chance to find a starstone with the some of the bigger nodes over the smaller nodes, or is it all just an even amount? I should do some research. Okay. 
Oh, that was an onyx, but not a starred onyx. A quartz, but not a sad quartz. We're starting to get so many star stones right now. Jeez. We've got three, like, really close to each other. Oh, we've got a couple of flowers down here to grab. These are very important flowers, because you need them for flares. Oh, I see some copper over there. There's some stone along there as well. It's almost time for us to head back to our base to to put everything away. It's another quartz, but not a star quartz. Like, even if I finish uh, getting all the starred star stones from the stone that you can mine, I'm still going to have a stone, as everyone should, because uh, if you clear the stone away, the other things will be more likely to spawn. <laughs> and then if you don't really need the stone, you can just sell it. Okay, it's about time I really should be heading back to the house. Okay. Let's start heading back towards base camp. Drop some things off and then it's time for the Margie Market again. I don't think I saw Eloiso Caleri at the um at the festival either. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's put you guys in here. Cool. Mm, nothing else I really need to do here, so let's get to the market. Just making sure we have extra inventory space in case we need to buy things. we go. Oh, green onion. Moink. Oh, another green onion. I love, I love that I can- oh! What? What? Oh, I got snapped back all the way back up here, okay. I'm- I do like how you can get the green onion and ginger and stuff on the way to the festival. But I think that's a really great placement for them. 
So people can get, and so, uh, well, on their way, people will be like, oh my god, this is a new thing. <laughs> And we'll spend time getting all those uh hi messages for Zeki. Because I want to try and do like all the as much of the quest stuff on stream as possible. So I don't have to worry about it. And about you guys possibly probably missing out on things. Okay. Oh, we're almost through, I think. I saw the sharper status. So I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. yep, here we go. <laughs> Hi. Is Ashley now ruining your life or what? Yeah. And Zeke's cool, and he gets on my mom's nerves. That's a plus in my books. All right, I did my part. <laughs> Just go. Okay. That that's that's great, thanks. Um Kinley. Oh, my day was terribly stressful. Oh, and I'm quite fond are. of surprises, and I'm quite fond of Zeki as well. I it would be delighted to write a kind message for him. Let's see, where should I start? Yes, perhaps with dear Zeki. Uh that does sound a bit stiff. Mmm. Kinley takes a sweet time writing a message for Zeki, mumbling to himself all the while. This'll do. I uh I hope he can read my handwriting. Writing was never my strong I suit. I could connect. Want to cook together? Oh, you scared me. I thought you might be the magistrate. There's a lot of, I could complain about when it comes to Zeki, but I guess none of it is uh, of it is really his fault at the end of the day. He actually treats me well, considering the business we're in together. He doesn't just care about saving his own skin. Don't tell him I said this, but he's pretty funny when he wants to be, too. I hate to admit it, but... Sometimes it makes my bad days a little less bad. Huh? There, I wrote something. Hopefully that works. Tish needs me. No, you guys. Hi. <laughs> They're like we are waiting for a fourth, and I'm just like I am popping myself in here. <laughs> okay, so blue and red seems to be our main priority right now. Ooh, that one would be good. <laughs> uh, I want ear. Uh, and we'll put the purple out. Okay, and then we just need a blue. Or we could grab one of uh, that one there and hope for another one. I might do that. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna grab year and discard year, and then we just need a blue one or one of those noodles. And then we just need to find the last one. Okay, we'll draw from here. Uh, we don't want that one. Oh, interesting. Someone took my red meat. Okay. We'll 
Gold Raw. Uh, we don't want that. Come on. Blue one or M noodles. Okay, control that. Discard that. Ah, but that's one we already have. I can still grab that though. Oh, the end noodle. Ah, oh, like someone took the took the blue one, but the M noodle. M noodle. Uh, discard that one, and then we just need uh some kind of uh blue one. That isn't one we already have. And then we'll be done. Which we haven't seen many blues, so I'm hoping they're going to start showing up soon. Any second now, someone could also just end the game. <laughs> I'm hoping they don't. Ah, oh, that's one we already have. We want a different blue one. Um, blue. Crab claw again. Oh, oh, we did it! <laughs> I got, I got the fish. Yay! Another winning hand. We win again. <laughs> uh, a few of these were almost, almost there as well. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, back to, back to this. Oh, see, here. Hello. Hi, Hadari. Yeah. Um. He ain't bad company. Bails me out when Kenley and Bajru start talking my ear off at the inn, and he's nice and Najima. Guess I can write something nice for him. Ah, uh, thanks, Hadari. You'll never believe what happened. <laughs> Zeki's a really good friend of mine, and he always has something nice to say about the inventions I make, and he sends me cool gifts all the time, too. The least I could do is write a nice message thanking him for everything. <laughs> I think it's kind of cute that, that uh, he's, like, basically her mentor. <laughs> The nights, uh, the nights have been chilly as of late. To make sure to bundle up. Oh, how not sweet! I'd love to help you and Shane with your little surprise, dearie. Not a lot of people know this, but Zeki is a real sweetheart. Why, just the other day, he helped me carry all my groceries home from the general store. Once in a while, he even gives me something fun to surprise Orny with. There, done. Was uh, it was hard writing a short message? Cause considering there are so many good things I can say about Zeki, hope it makes him smile. Oh. Aw, it's kind of nice that that everyone just knows he's just a nice ah, person. I've been in dire need of stimulating conversation. And you want me to contribute to the surprise of yours? Can't you see I'm busy? Oh, well, I suppose Zeki does contribute something of value to this village. Without him, Kilima's economy would be... Ahem, I, I had me that notebook already, won't you? I can't afford to waste any more t uh, time chit-chatting with you. There, I've written something nice. Uh, something. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have business to get back to. Oh, how thrilling. Cool. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Shane, we did it. Can I be of any assistance, friend? You're still awake? I find I need a little sleep as the dragon sustains me. <laughs> ah. So you did it. So you did. Thank you kindly for contributions, Sir Phoenix's child. May I have the journal? Give Shane the journal. Hmm. Shane briefly skims over messages and begins neatly to yeah, tear them out of the journal. He folds each message and tucks them into the candy box. Oh, I mustn't forget to include the message I wrote for him too. There. Now the candy box is ready to be gifted to him. 
Would you like to do the honors of giving him the surprise, Phoenix's child? I thought you'd never ask. It'd be my pleasure. Who else could do it but me? I always finish what I start. It'd be my pleasure. There's no better time than the present to show Zeki how much we appreciate him. I'll be waiting for her, uh, from afar. Uh, I'll be watching from afar. I cannot wait to see how he reacts. Dragon bless oh, he's gonna love it. Zeki, I bought you some candy. Oh, look what the move dragged in. Surprise! Huh? For me? <laughs> Oh, a candy box. It's like the one I had with my family. Thanks, pal. Open it up. Right now? Uh, okay. Sure, it's a bunch of candy. Oh, what's this? Zeki unfolds one of the messages. Happy Lunar New Year, Zeki. Thanks for always giving my mum a hard time, Kenyatta. <laughs> ah, you're welcome, Kenyatta. Anytime, anytime. Read another one. There's more? Okay, let me see what what this one's about. Zeki, I hope the Lunar New Year treating you as well as you treat me and my family. I can't thank you enough for all of our fun chats at the general store. You always brighten up my day. Love, Delilah. Aw, oh, shucks. Didn't, you, uh, you didn't know you felt that way about me, Delilah. Alright, but this is the last one. If you want me to keep reading for you, you you're gonna need to rent out the library for a reading day. Dear Zeki, I cannot begin to thank you enough for all the joy you bring to our village. Every conversation we have, no matter how fleeting, brings a smile to my face. You make Kilima feel like home. It is a blessing to have you here, Shane. Oh man, here comes the waterfall. Oh, he's gonna cry. <laughs> I need a tissue. It's okay to cry. Let the tears fall. Need a minute. It's okay to cry. Who's crying? Sure ain't. Yeah, Cause I sure ain't. I just uh, got something in my eyes all. <laughs> what you got in your eye? Tears! <laughs> you really got in me with this pal. This was all you're doing. Shane and I worked together on this. She had a figured Shane had a hand in this. I didn't expect everyone would come together like this just for all me. Guess I really am part of Kilimer's family, huh? You always are. You're right. I've been so wrapped up in old memories I didn't realize I was already making new ones with my fa family here in Kilima. Back then, I wished to, to celebrate the Lunar New Year again with family. I guess it really did come true after all, huh? Yeah, it did. Say, can I ask you a favor, pal? I want you to give this to Shane. To hang on the wish tree for me. It's my wish for this coming year. I'll hang it up myself, but I got a stall to run. My old man once told me that wishes are really promises you make to yourself, and you know what? It's okay to make those once in a while. And thank you. And Shane. For everything, pal. Happy New, Lunar New Year. <laughs> ah, Shane, we got a wish. Can I be of any assistance, friend? Zeki wanted you to help him put his wish on the tree. Oh, wonderful. It'd be an honor for me to hang it up on his behalf. How did he react to the gift? He was really touched by it. Brings me immense joy to hear how strongly he felt about the surprise. Hope he enjoys reading through the rest of the messages everyone left for him. What about you, Phoenix's child? How are you feeling right now? Um, happy. I feel the same exact way. My heart feels lighter somehow. These feelings of joy, gratitude, nostalgia, they're all part of what makes the Lunar New Year such a special occasion. At the end of the day, what the holiday truly is, is the celebration of us, the connections we have built with one another, and our hopes for the future. Ah, it feels like the sun is setting a long day. And yet, or that, we are reaching the end of an eventful journey. But the conclusion of one story is only the beginning of another. It has been wonderful to experience the Lunar New Year with you thus far, Phoenix's child. I cannot even begin to express my gratitude towards you. Please take this as a token of my appreciation. I wish you a happy Lunar New Year, and good fortune in the coming year. Ah, your presence has been... <laughs> oh, so nice. <laughs> and, and we got... This New Year candy box. Awesome. Ah, oh, it's so cool. Also, hey, Aina. You looking at the cute things? It is time to enjoy emotional bonding. Hello, Kitty. Uh, hello, Aina. What a pleasant exchange of greetings. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. Ah, uh, before the the uh, chopper chase begins, I want to see if I can get another recipe from Reth. Here we go. Spicy crab fried cake. Let me write that down. Spicy crab fried cake. Uh, rice cake soup. There's also one. And we can't buy any more of the recipes currently. That's two more recipes. Nice. 
Okay. And then we'll participate in the chopper chase and uh and finish up stream for today. And then I'll have my usual two days off and then we'll be back on our usual streaming schedule. <laughs> Oh, we also have a wish to do. Um, I did prosperity last time. Let's do longevity. We'll just do this quickly. <laughs> I'm coming, Chopper Chase. I just, I just wanted to do this first. Here we go. Beautiful. Okay, choppers. Here, yeah, chopper, 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 chopper. Oh, there's a couple up there. Oh. Boop. Okay. Well, we've participated with one so far, which is great. Oh, here's another one. Come here. Come here, buddy. I gotcha. Into the pit you go. And then possibly something I'll end up doing if, like, I finish the chopper chase stuff before, like, the, uh, the, um, the hot pot stuff is probably just make sure I put one chopper in before I go and participate in some hot pots and things. It depends, uh, what ends up coming first. Because I still want to get tickets from the chopper chase, but there might be other things I need to do with my time. Do, 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 do. So I'm going to try and get as many tickets as possible, uh, envelopes as possible, so that we can get as many of the things that we don't already have. Especially since we're going to need a lot for all of those food items, because I want starred variants of all the ones that we can't cook. I'm not hearing the usual chopper chase music. I'm assuming it's because um, of how I started. I started the wish thing, so it's replaced the music and hasn't put the chopper chase music back. <laughs> It's kind of nice, though. Nice and relaxing music. Chasing the little chopper choppers. Oh, hello. Okay, uh, go around this way. Oh, that one's gone. Oh, nope. Oh, hello. <laughs> There you are, little buddy. Come on, back in your pen. Uh, I also have two coins to spend on uh, on the wheel. Should do that after the chopper chase is finished. Oh, that one's got. Oh. It's okay. I don't know wh which is the best technique to run around like this and try and uh, go by all of the spawn points and hope that you get them at the right time, or whether to just uh, hang out near like one specific spot. I think hanging out near one specific spot is something that a lot of people tend to do for the chopper chase. Ah, oh, I didn't get that one in. <laughs> Here we go, we end up getting 11, so we got third place. Okay, let's uh, spin this wheel. And go, yay! <laughs> okay, we got some lucky envelopes, and yay! And lucky gone. Oh, and a New Year blue ornament. Ooh. It's 
some new stuff. Awesome. Okay. Uh, can we purchase any more things from Wrath right now? I don't think so. Yeah, 2,000 is what I need. Okay. Uh, let's participate in some more hot pot. Hot pot, hot pot. Oh, I was going to finish the stream, but... <laughs> and then I'm just like, oh, but... I want to I want to finish the the whole the whole festival cuz why not? Um we'll get rid of the year, I guess. Okay, so we have three yellows already. We need an orange and a square thing. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> and if I get another yellow, I might uh, before those, I might do Actually, yeah, I'll grab a year place here so it's possible i can get another carrot at the same time and just have three three carrots rather than three yellows uh that won't be useful that's not useful that's not useful okay draw that uh replace that <laughs> so a potato or a carrot at this point Nope. What about what you're gonna put out? Oh, you took that one. Uh, no, that's not what I want. That color has to be the squares. Okay. Draw a new one. That's also not one we want. I just realized I kind of messed up with my yellows, but oh, that's okay because there we go. Because <laughs> it was no longer a three yellow, so I didn't actually have any kind of thing going for me. Ooh, that orange, I want that. I want you. Put you there. Ah, uh, and then we just need one of those squares. I'm just looking out for the squares. Oh, someone finished it. I did not win this time. <laughs> well, there goes uh, we got, there goes my win streak. <laughs> oh, these these guys were pretty good. Look at that. That person got pretty close too. <laughs> yeah. Um. Any more? Oh no. Is it is it past time to participate now? Yeah, it's past time to participate now. At uh, 3 a.m. is when it finishes. But there we go. Um, and to to finish off, we're just gonna we're just gonna come sit down over here by the lake. Okay. And uh, so so there we go. That was our our uh, our stream for the Lunar Festival this week. <laughs> Just because it was patch day, so I was just like, we've gotta we've gotta get patch day done so everyone can see what it's like. But it's it's pretty good. We had we had a great time. Um I I'm really liking the festival and stuff. I'm gonna look forward to doing more things with it. How how well did we do with our, our stamp cards? So we've still got to play more hot pot. Uh, win one more game of Hot Pot, and I'll have completed that. Gotta spend more envelopes, which we will be doing. Gotta catch more choppers, spin the wheel a bit more, and some more stuff. And it's really good. 
of making wishes and things like that. So yeah, um, and we're gonna head out. <laughs> um, and I'll be back uh, the usual days for streaming this week uh, with some Vault Hunters, and then maybe on the third day we'll play some more Palia. We'll see how it goes. Um, but until then, I hope you guys look after yourselves, because you're all important, and I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye, guys.